It's a shit because you abandon your kid. IP2. Abandon your Nine, kid. Ten. Here you go, here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right. Hey. Here you go. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. You're so great. Oh, Randy, you're a piece of shit. Well, that's the truth. You're wrong, my boy. You wanna have a, uh, I'll let you talk, but if you want, we, we should do a little freestyle battle. I'm kind of in the freestyle mood. I can't rap no more. Uh, I'm not that good, but. Uh, well, yeah, you're not in a good mood. We won't you're rap. Hyped. You're hyped, though. You got all the energy. I do. I see how you get though. You get that little in you, and it's like you know you gotta. Fuck you, ski, ski, ski. Fuck you, ski, ski, ski. Fuck you, ski, ski, ski. All right, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right, here you go. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Two blocks right here, tatted on your chest. And here you are. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. Hey. All right, hey. here you go. Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. <laughs> Oh, oh man, you know Here you go, here you go, ski mask is a little hoe We're gonna put him up on the television show Hey, let me see your face Alright, hey, here you go Oh Randy, keep your head up Hey It's my world, now I'm Uh, uh, uh Yo, hey, yo, my man, yo, so welcome to the NJ Ford Show. Blue skies I heavy. welcome you, yo. Are you Take a me? ticket. Crush the pain. Now you're gonna Roll get kind of lifted. It. Cause I know some of you like it. Puff, puff, give it. Oh, no. But just get your pop in it. And welcome to the show. Cause we're about to get it. Yeah, we roll. Yo, life, what's up? About to get a hug. About to show this allegation. That's what's up. Oh, I don't like to lie. I don't like to allegate. I just got the facts and I hate why. But I why do you wanna try with me? Do you wanna lie? Cause I'm about to show you how I get it. Cliff and Cliff and that's, that's how I got this shit I'm about to not embarrass you But I'm about to talk real quick with it I just put it down Watch the straight facts And I don't clown around Yo, so welcome to the NJC show Wait, did I say NJ and NYC show? Yo, <laughs> I don't know what's up I'm kinda looking on the 40 ounce of that drink What's up? Yo, here we go Welcome to the fucking show It ain't about ski mass It's the controller, yo So sit down Don't clown around Don't take a blue Cause you're about to pass out uh. when I want to Your court television news starting now. You have to shake it for all those big old guys in your prison cell. Randy's gonna shake that boot boot day. Hey, welcome to the NJ Court Show. Try to see over this so they can't say, or wait, can they say copyright? Not sure. So let's not figure it out tonight. So I'm gonna pause this shit now. Welcome to the NJ Court Show, and welcome to the party, everybody, let's go. <laughs> welcome, y'all, I'm pumped. I hope you guys are too. Sorry, I know I'm yelling. I'll, I'll calm it down a bit. Give me one second. <laughs> welcome, y'all. Let me just get to the chat so I can say hi to everybody today. All right, my channel, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Shoot, I forgot I monetized. I got to go through my ads. Hold on. Hey, got to pay for these trips somehow, right? 
There we go. All right. Welcome, welcome. Cool, cool. Welcome, everybody to the show and to the party. I hope everybody's got their favorite beverage. I do. Got me a uh, IPA, as it says there, happy camper IPA, and I'm very happy today. <clears throat> Woo, that was a loud one. I'm so sorry about that. Excuse me. Oh, my gosh. Woo. But anyways, cheers. But let's get this party started. Want to start down up here, or excuse me, start up the line here and say welcome, welcome, everybody. I see Optic Shrooms, Carry Only, Jersey, one of my jury members, welcome. SoCal, another jury member in the house, welcome. Trippy Dead, Hungry Haley the Hippo, welcome. Joji, welcome, my friend. Just Jen, one of my moderators, as well as Jersey, sorry. And Just Jen is another member of the jury, shout out to you. We've got Mimi, Ken McDonald, hey yo. We got Julia Drums, welcome, welcome. We got Tammy, welcome Tammy, Super Roofer, hey yo. All right, let's go down, let's go down. I see Sunflower, welcome. I see Jeannie's World, or Janae's, welcome, and another member of our jury, shout out to you. Let's see here, going down, going down, going down, going down. Baseline measure. Welcome. And another jury member. I love that uh, emoji. You, you, I see everybody's playing with the emojis, man. I like it. <laughs> Cameron, welcome. Welcome. Ju another jury member <laughs> with the hammers or excuse me, the gavel to be more professional. Missouri country girl. <laughs> What's up? Another one of our jury members here. Louisiana lady, welcome. Black shark, welcome. Chihuahua mama, I got a chihuahua too. His name's Dobby. Wanda mom, welcome. The WAP 99, welcome my friend as always. Let's see, Ice Clur, you look like Rob Deerdick. Hey, I'll take that, man. I've been called a lot of different things. I'll take Rob. All right, Melly Lynn, hello. Puddle jumper. So this live showed up on my news feed and I jumped in out of curiosity. I'm intrigued. Welcome. I think you shall be, my friend. All right. Looks like we made it to the bottom of the list. And again, Jersey, I have Jen in here. Those are going to be my two mods for the evening and my only two mods as always. So welcome to them. So, you know, I got my little list here. We've got intros done, or excuse me, hellos done. We've recognized the jury members done. Housekeeping rules as always. We just got a few of them here. Nothing too difficult to follow. Pretty simple. Uh, no picking on each other. No picking on the mods. No doxing. Pretty much follow what TOS says so the channel don't get in trouble. And we continue to watch this stuff, okay? Uh, most importantly, if you want to pick on somebody, if you're feeling that mean this evening, pick on me, okay? That's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here to take all that beating from all you bullies out there. But honestly, I didn't see any tonight. Maybe not too many. Maybe they're lurking back there. But saw a lot of good people today, a lot of the jury members out there. So welcome, everybody. But pretty simple. Just have some respect for each other. Uh, if we see you not, you get a warning. After that, good evening. And it's pretty simple. So have fun. We usually don't have any problems with the chat. It's a lot of fun. That's why I enjoy the chat. And that's why I really enjoy you guys being able to participate in it. And I want you all to keep participating in it. So don't ruin it. All right. That's it. Those are the house rules. Last thing, e-bagging. It is allowed this evening, okay? Because this is a going away party for Mr. Ski Mask Andy. And I'll tell you what, okay? Not only are your donos very important for growing this channel, uh, most importantly, if some of you are new, you may not know, but you're more than welcome to go through the channel. But uh, there is a lot of clips that we've worked on. But most importantly, we've started already two court coverages, light court, excuse me, live court coverages. Uh, those are trips that cost some money. Uh, we have, you know, board, room and board. We have transportation. But because of the generosity of you guys, uh, as well as myself, We've made all the trips and all the projects, as I call them, and we've had, you know, a lot of exposure out of them. Um, and as a matter of fact, it's these two trips, for example, or excuse me, just these two live coverages we had are, I think, are going to be leading us into something very important that we're going to be discussing this evening is something that I truly, as a channel, want to start exposing. And I feel that, you know, based on the feedback from all y'all, 
I think it's something that we're all on the same page on. Okay. And we're going to get into that later, but um, it is important for the channel to receive donations. Uh, you can do that this evening through Cash App. Uh, that is pinned up, and occasionally my mods will post that on there if you want to go that way. Um, also, YouTube. We are a monetized channel now. Thank you, YouTube. Um, you can do a super chat. Uh, you can do a super sticker. And uh, if you've noticed some of these kind of funny, weird emojis, and if you notice some of the people have like a star with a little gavel in it, those are jury members. Anybody can become a member of the jury. You just got to join. It's a monthly subscription. It's just two ninety nine. dollars I'm not a Netflix here. I'm not going to be charging no $9.99. Um, and most importantly, that monthly subscription every month really helps the channel. So I really appreciate all the current jury members, any future jury members. And like I said, anything helps. Just y'all coming here, being viewers and participating in the chat helps a lot. So I appreciate that. We've got a lot of new subscribers. I noticed that. So welcome to all the new watchers, all the new subscribers, and all the past and current members of the jury, as well as of the channel. All right. So we took care of the e-begging. Simple. That's it. All right. Let's move on to the party, the show, right? That's what we're all here for. Main show. Intro. Let's see here. Wait. All right. There we go. Show. <laughs> Well, like the title said, this evening, oh, and I forgot, what I wanted to add, though, is this evening, you're actually very lucky. Uh, if you do decide to donate, not only are you going to be helping the channel, but you're probably going to be pissing off Ski Mask pretty bad because poor dude today was woo, going at it hard, begging for those donations. And I have a feeling probably why, but uh, we'll get into that here in a second. But uh, that was just what I, I was, I kind of got distracted. I was going to add into the uh, e-begging uh, session of our intro there. But, um, you know, with that being said, let's get into the party. Um, I called it a party because it is one. Um, I think after a, the week, and we're going to look at some clips this evening, I've started kind of adding a lot of clips to the show. Uh, I think it kind of gets us on the, you know, same perspective instead of just hearing it from me. You guys can see it. So uh, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of what Mr. Ski Mask has been up to this week, in addition to what he's been doing the last few weeks. Uh, you know, it almost seems like it hasn't, you know, it's been a while, but it hasn't been. I think our last show was Wednesday. And what did we go over then? Uh, we just had recently the bullying and harassment and doxing of one of his top mods, Fortune Cook. Okay. And it didn't stop there. As a matter of fact, I believe he's even kicked out um, Julie, I think is her name, is the other part of the upper escalant of the, the cult there. And uh, I've heard she ran back. So, you know, there's a lot of weird shit going on. Like I said, at this point, I am going to say for sure this is a cult now. It, it was kind of funny. And, you know, now th this is the way I've seen a lot of these victims act now, especially with the returning back after what I've just witnessed them go through. We are witnessing a cult. And it's backfired on the cult leader, okay? Because he's now put his own personal interest. He's shown his own personal side to the cult members. You know, something we've already been exposing. This was something they all were doing this to, right? But what happens? And what did we say before? Eventually, it was going to come down to those people, right? After he's done bullying all the people that don't pay, right? It comes down to the mods. And then it starts to with the extortion, right? Hey, who's going to pay the most to be now? If you notice... He's got this thing now called my wives, the like the what the the three wives club. So for the 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 pick the top payers, you get to be part of his upper wives club, you know, like he's running a harem now. OK, but uh, anyways, you know, there, there's a lot of a lot of this cult like just culture already that's been going on. And now we're seeing it with the way the victims are acting. You know, we saw it already with the cult leader, but we're seeing the way those victims are reacting. So. Uh, we're going to go over some of these clips here, but, uh, you know, in addition to that, that was, you know, Wednesday all week. It happened last week. Uh, you know, he's been on a personal tyrant against me uh, on a doxing campaign, which, again, I, I don't know what he's trying to accomplish with that. As a matter of fact, it looks like his viewership's sick of it. There's Most of them are disgusted. It's only the top crazies that are the ones that just egg them on every once in a while, and they're done. They all want to see Michelle. Let's go. Let's go to Michelle. We want to see the toe. We want to be the bullies, you know, they're, they're, you know, that's, that's their favorite person to bully right now. And that's all they want. And honestly, she's gotten old and boring, you know? So, uh, it, this guy's throwing anything he can, you know, any piece of shit he can to stick on the wall, as you say, and, uh, it's really making them look bad. And I think today you're going to see a good example of what's happened, but 
This dude is falling apart. And with that, like I said, the dominoes are falling, right? Bink, 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 bink. Police showed up on Monday or Tuesday. Bink, okay. Uh, money's now drying up so we don't get to buy our drugs. Bink, okay. Now we start going into withdrawals and now our thinking's getting crazy and we're making threats on the internet when we're not supposed to. Bink, next thing you know, Bink, 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 bang. So they're coming. They're falling. But uh, with that being said, let, let's kick it off with the clip here, okay? I think we've done enough talking. Oh, and sorry, I didn't have the comments up. One thing I'm going to work on this evening was reading a lot of your comments, okay? I, again, I'm still new to kind of doing that, all right? Um, I've got a little bit better setup now that I got my phone, so I can look at that. Uh, so if you guys, for example, before some, I was just on stream arts and somebody donated a, like a super sticker, I wouldn't see the sticker. I'd see the donation so I could say thank you, but I wouldn't get to see the sticker till after the replay. So now if you do a super sticker, I can see it. All right. So thank you very much. And oh, sorry, I didn't have my volume. We did get just a cash app donation. And with that, thank you for already starting that up. Uh, this is going to be anonymous donation for $10. Thank you for that cash app. And just for the cash shoppers, if you want to stay anonymous in the message part, just put anonymous. Other, if you don't put anonymous, I'm going to shout you out because I'm very thankful for you doing that. Uh, but for this donator, wanted to stay anonymous, very respectful. Thank you again for the $10 donation. Much appreciated. All right. And I'm sorry I didn't have the volume up, so I didn't hear that. Now I'm paying attention to the phone, so I'll catch those donations. Thank you. All right. Let's, I got to put that down here. All right. So got the chat going on here. Let's go to the uh, the video here. So I'm going to just start really quick, just kind of showing you, you know, what kind of in a timeline order, uh, what happened this week. Like I said, you know, we started after Wednesday. We've, we've already had a lot of doxing and threats to me. Uh, we had a lot going, building up with the mods. Wednesday, he went all crazy and you know, doxed and belittled and harassed, uh, uh, you know, top mod fortune cookie. Um, I have not seen her return. I've heard rumors, but I would like some clarification if some people can, you know, talk about that in the chat. Um, because if so, then I've got a different opinion about everything. But I personally haven't seen it. I saw actually Fortune Cookie and some other talk shows kind of discussing what went on. She had a lot of support, a lot of real support from people that really cared, not these fake cult. But again, she was part of a cult. She was brainwashed. She was in it for a while. You know, can we expect them just to, you know, kind of like a person that's been on drugs for even six months? They're not just going to, you know, turn around like that. So who knows? We'll see. But uh, I've heard a few different things. I'm not going to say one or the other because I don't know what's going on. But if you guys would like to kind of hit on that, by all means, and I'll be checking on that in the chat. But um, with that being said, the first thing we saw was a, a little bit of the threats from Ski Mask getting now over the line. It's already been over the line. But let me get that that point straight. Okay. <laughs> this, this person has already crossed the line of just, you know, trolling, shooting the shit, poking at me or something like that. All right. Even before I went to their court hearing in Tulsa, I was already given death threats, essentially. Okay. Uh, those were recorded by himself on his live stream. They came in the form of instant, what did they call them? DMs, your Instagram messages. Okay. Um, those I didn't share because, you know, I, I just, you know, I, I took him serious, but I, I know ski mask. He's just a little piece of shit. I know what type of guy he is. I was already in Tulsa. He didn't do shit. So it is what it is. I've been documenting everything. Don't get me wrong. And now with this new set of threats that I received, it, it's, it's like I said, it's already been over the line, but now it's, it's at that point where, yeah, we're not playing anymore. And, and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So let's go to present. We'll go to the video file. I had to do this. Oops. What am I doing here? I already had this. Oh, shit. Don't tell me this is not on here. <gasps> what? Hold on, y'all. Did my videos not post on here? What? Okay. So, no worries. Um, Let me go to my comments here really quick. Okay, I, I got him already up here. I just got to load it up here. So I, I can do this without, yeah, I'm not leaving the studio, so it won't kick me. All right, good, cool. I was like, it can't. All right, so just hold on here. I had him ready and I apologize. I guess it didn't, 
save them for whatever reason, but they're right here. All right, cool. We'll start with the first one. So I think you guys can see this right in here. I'll blow it up for you if you can't. There you go. Actually, let me go to the other view. That way I'm not blocking it. But this is the DMs that I received here. If y'all can see that, all right? Uh, it's in kind of on, you should be looking at it left to right. So that's kind of the order I got it in. Now, let me tell you something, okay? This is a good example of kind of how these systems are failing us through these social platforms. Ski Mask has already, been, has already been banned from Instagram multiple amounts of times, okay? Um, it looks like he uses the same username. So I don't think he's even using a different username. And at this point, I figure they already go by like your email address or an IP address, something like that, okay? But whatever may be going on, this individual, this scumbag has already blown through several of his, you know, accounts, okay? He's... He's been banned. He's he's done this to plenty of people. This is how he gets directly to people is through his, these Instagrams, these DMs, okay? So what you're seeing here is, let me see. Okay, it's not showing on the screen. Good. Um, you're seeing, let's see here. This is already, I think he just got unbanned a few days ago. So honestly, I think he just had gotten unbanned. And literally, this is what he posted as soon as he got unbanned, Okay. I'm going to ride the bus one way to your dad's lawyer office and give him a special hello before I start the next level. Oh, wow. Let's make it sound like a video game. That's really just not making this a threat, Smarticus. Um, let's see. I, I had a, you know, I think this, I think that one just says my name. Oh, yeah, that's why it's confusing. He doesn't know how to spell. Remember, this is a college educated person. And that's a lie. I didn't post it up here, but I've already confirmed that. This guy doesn't even have anything close to a communications degree. All Ski Mask did was he said he went to school for five years. I don't believe that because that sounds a little crazy because, excuse me, all this guy did, unless he, you proved me wrong, Ski. And I think I already heard you on a panel show. They were asking you to show, you said you had your certificate or whatever because you didn't, you know, let anybody to toss that, but you didn't show anything. So I'll tell you what this guy has. It's easy. You can confirm it online. All he has is an associates and general studies. OK, I commend anybody that's got any schooling. Absolutely. But let's just clarify that lie. This guy is not a communications major. He's just got an associates in general studies. OK, that's why I got confused. He doesn't even know how to use the right grammar. Not even close. This isn't even like, oops, the little spell check thing got me wrong. Uh, I think this it says B-O-T-U Emilio. But your dad is going. Oh, I don't even know what he's trying to say. But your dad is going to the next stage. You and wait, you and wait here and think of your actions and how they caused that play with fire. You get burned. Fat D word, LOL. You like the pics and info I have. Report all you want, fat boy. I'll be seeing, uh, I don't know whose name that was soon. Take care, Emilio. And then he puts a few pictures of me. I don't know why he's got that one uh, covered with the thing. I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know if he just messed up and slipped another one of his doxes in there by accident. But then at the bottom, it says, LOL, I'm going to kill you when I see you, Emilio. Yeah, meth grammar. That or could you imagine? He's probably like this. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I could just imagine. So that's the last thread I just received there as a form of an Instagram message, okay? Pretty serious there, right? He says he's going to come visit my house. Oh, and what you don't see there is he supposedly has a picture of what he thinks is a, where my residence is at, okay? Again, I, I've already been named five different people. I've been married. I mean, th this guy's just made up so much bullshit. He don't even know what fucking bullshit he's saying every day, okay? You can already hear him already fucking pretty much, you know, saying something that he said before and it already made him sound like a liar, okay? The dude don't even remember one life from another. He's so delusional. So, uh, yes, this is exactly what he wrote to me, I think, yesterday or the day before. Uh, like I said, he just had gotten unbanned. I don't know why. Like, just let's say this is already like the third time he's done this, right? People are reporting for messages like this. Why in the hell is Instagram still allowing this guy to fucking send messages like this or use their platform? I don't understand that. See, that's one of the little examples I'm trying to bring up, you know. Uh, and all you can do, right, is just press the little button that says report. That's it. 
and just hope that something's going to happen. Now, I will tell you this. If you receive a message like this and you feel your life is at, in, in threat, do not. I'm, I'm taking this the way I'm taking this. But if you get a message like this and you feel at any time your life is being threatened, you immediately call the police. OK, uh, I am not uh, like I said, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a law enforcement official giving you advice. I'm just telling you what any right minded person would do. If you feel like your life has been threatened, if you receive messages like this, it doesn't have to be from ski mask. Anybody, please, you report to the police. OK, if you feel you need to just want to get that out of the way. So that's exactly what I received from that scumbag, okay? Um, like I said, the guy's pretty much said it right there. I'm going to kill you and has my name. Now, you all know that this individual has also an RO against him for the same thing. Um, he's got an RO. Oops, hold on. I think there's another cash up here. Yep, thank you. All right, so this is a $10 app for, for Puddle Jumper. You are fun. Thanks for streaming. From Puddle Jumper, thanks for streaming. I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that donation. So, um, sorry, I got a little distracted there. So, you know, like I said, th this is this is an individual that already has a restraining order against them for doing the same thing to another individual, okay? Not too smart. And this is an individual that's already got many law enforcement agencies literally watching his chat, watching his videos. Okay. Um, he's already broken probation because he didn't show up. He hasn't shown up to his, uh, court administration hearing. I mean, this dude's in serious trouble. Uh, Ona gotcha with the super chat. Thank you so much for that 1999 super chat here to give you the support you deserve. Need to get the iPhone membership link somehow. It's different than others. Okay. I'll look into that. I'll see how the iPhone people can met off of their phone. I don't know how YouTube makes that so difficult, um, but I'm going to look into that to see where you guys would hit to join. Thank you for that uh, super chat. And I always, even though I've already repeated your name so much, I got to see it. I'm one of those people like, okay, here we go. Oh, no, gotcha. Okay. I should be good the next time I say it. Thank you, Ono. Hey, I like that. Oh, no, for short, if that's okay. But anyways, um, you know, th this dude is not too smart. You know, long story short, that's as simple as you can put it. Okay. Now, the next video I'm going to jump to is going to be uh, pretty much Mr. Ski Mask reaction this morning. Okay. This is pretty much day two of him begging, begging, and begging. And I'm going to tell you something. You, 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 the, for the, uh, the cult members that are probably a little unsure what's going on right now, but they're being cautious. I'm going to commend you for starting the first kind of thing of hopefully converting away from that cult, which is being cautious. OK, and the fact that you're not donating to this scumbag anymore is very, very smart of you. OK, and if you notice, there's a reason why those donations aren't coming in, even from his still remaining cult members. OK, because at the end of the day. These people care about their real life. They don't want to go to jail for this piece of shit. They might, you know, like him as a little e-boyfriend, but would they ever let him in their door in real life? I don't know. Maybe one of them, but I don't think the rest of them would. But with that being said, we'll roll into the next video clip. I just want to show you exactly what I witnessed. You know, this, this, is, this went on all day today. So before we roll that, I'll just give you kind of a quick little breakdown of what happened afterwards. Uh, this dude pretty much restarted his stream, you know, rage quit, restarted, rage quit, restarted, do over again, I think three or four times today. Uh, hold on. Sorry, we got a donation. Let me scroll up. Let's see here. I apologize. That one went up quick. Crisscross Applesauce. Welcome. I like that name. We've got a 499 Super Chat. Thank you for all your hard work and dedication. F Ski Mask Mandy. <laughs> you're so welcome and thank you for your support i appreciate that donation i like your name there but uh yeah this dude pretty much rage quit you know four times today same thing every time you try to post some thumbnail to like bait people i mean come on will you just watch your fucking self for a minute and just remove yourself from your like big-headed self narcissist fucking self 
and just realize what you're doing. I mean, you are like, literally, you've already shown how desperate you are. You're literally begging. You might as well just tell everybody what you need the money for. Okay. It's not to get a, a one-way ticket to come see me for 1200 bucks. Okay. What you're begging money for. So you get enough, so you can, and I'm not talking the green stuff. Okay. And this guy is so desperate. Let me show you a clip of what he looked like today, okay? That's what I'm saying. I don't even know how he takes himself serious at this point because he's a joke, okay? Joey Love, thank you for that. $4.99, super chat, supporting. Hold on, sorry, let me read that. Oh, 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 oh. The chat is on fire today. Thank you all for participating in the chat. And thank you, Mods, for taking care of the chat. Supporting what you do. Joey Love, thank you so much. I appreciate your donation and for your support. All right, let's get this clip again. I just got to load it up and let's get that play in here. I believe that should be this one here. Oh, oh, oops. Here, let me go to me. Let's remove that one. That's for later. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. It might be this one here. It might be this one. Oops, oops, oops. That's for later. All right. And it's going to probably be this one. Oh. All right. Well, hold on. Hold on. Ski mask, you might be lucky. You might have just got out of this. No, I'm just kidding. I got it here. Uh, okay. That's that one. That's this one. Let's see if it's this one. Nope. All right. Be patient with me here. I'll just have to load it up. Remove. All right. And actually, while I'm doing that, please uh, take a, a sip of your favorite beverage and let's cheers. Masca Mama Australia. I'm sorry. That wasn't an Australian accent. I don't even know what the heck I was trying to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for your Australian $30.99 super chat. Let me read that here. Thanks for your fight for all of us. He treated like less for nothing. Pretty bad when he doesn't even remember all the people he has hurt in some way or another through his narcissistic ways. Oh, absolutely. Guy doesn't even care about his own family. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's not going to give one rat's butt about anybody else. Trust me. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here, let me get this loaded up. Just give me a second to think this, where, how I'll do it here so I don't exit the studio. Should have already been there, so maybe I just didn't click the right one. It is a, so that, let me see how I sent that one here. My files, okay, videos. Okay, I see it here. All right, so I'm going to just resend it. Okay. Do that, do that. Okay, so that's sent. Okay, so I should be able to do this. Hold on, y'all. I'm loading it right now. All right, I'm going. I got it up. Hold on. Oh my gosh, man. Maybe I've got the curse of Randy going on. <laughs> I 
Come on, man. I know I loaded that up here. Holy moly, what the hell is going on here? This thing is pissing me off. Hold on, y'all. Jeez Louise, Randy. What are you doing to me here? Holy crap, holy. There we go. My gosh. All right. I'm just downloading again. Oh, oh. I know I got it on here. Hold on. I know I have it here. Let me... This is just... Now getting absurd. All right. So it should have been the first one here. Oh, that's not it again. I don't know. I guess. I... All right. So I, I got it downloading right now. Be patient. Have a sip of your beer, please. Because this is a really good clip I want you guys to see. All right, here we go. Thank God. Oh, it was a little longer. Okay, cool. I see why I was doing that. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully it's loading up or else something's going on. Okay, this has to be it. All right, here we go. I'm going to turn the chat off, man. Sorry, guys. Until uh, some more people show up, I guess. I don't blame y'all for not watching if you can't chat. So it's understood when I turn the chat off, there'll be less viewers. That's fine. Uh, there's going to be the same amount of money coming in. So that's all that really matters. Uh, I can't believe it's 134 people and nobody has a dollar. Extra dollar. Not a single, not a single person in here. What's wrong? Everybody else can just go live and ask their audience for money with no problems. This this fucking loser land. How much you make last night? You had like seven hundred plus. You said you cashed out five hundred. This dude made twelve hundred dollars telling his, his stream he's quitting. These they all these motherfuckers use me. I don't get nothing from none of them. Books. I'll turn the chat on. Turn the stream off. Nobody likes you. There's 167 bored motherfuckers. Nope. You sit right here and make you watch me and, and give me a big ego. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, why are you watching? Huh? I'm just gonna fucking talk shit to you, pussies. Fuck the money, there, bitch. Now I don't give a fuck about the money, huh? Now I want to know where you live so I can fucking headbutt you in the, in the middle of your fucking face. The top part of my headbutt, my head. Please. Let me see if we get a cash out. Very unlikely, based upon the crowd I saw. Here we go. Yeah, Elizabeth. Yeah, I'm hanging out until one of the hangers gave me some money. 
to get to see them. They got it on that board on purpose. They don't need to talk to me. I'm getting the same amount of money whether or not they talk to me or whether or not they even have the fucking chat on. You know what I mean? There's a lot of viewers and I'll be able to talk. A bunch of losers. All it takes is $1. I'll turn this shit on. What would I say? 20 bucks. All it takes is 20 bucks. I'll turn this shit on. Otherwise, I'll sit here. I'd pay myself $20. I'd have to have haters in the chat. You got one friend came on. What's up, Elizabeth? Yeah, yeah. Put the phone is fucking up. Liz, I'm punishing these haters trying to make them find something better to do. It's just it's it's Liz and Elizabeth, my two friends in here. Never mind them, ladies. Just let's hang out a bit. I ain't got much to say. But uh, you know. Mm-hmm. You guys want to replay that again? No, I'm just kidding. That's enough of that crybaby bullshit. You don't need to see that again. Off with your stream. Riot Coke! Super sticker! Thank you so much. Let me see what's going on with that super sticker. Let's see here. I think my phone's just a little bit behind, but I see it here, so I'm waiting for it. I'll see it when it pops up. But thank you so much, Riot Coke, with that donation. I appreciate that. So there you go, folks. Uh, that was, like I said, um, <laughs> you know... Uh, four or five minutes of what he's been doing all day long today. Um, you're probably going to see him come, you know, on after I'm done or if he's not already on right now. I don't know. I don't care. But uh, same old story. I'm sure he's going to have a thumbnail of me doing something or some edited thumbnail of my, you know, Facebook, whatever, dude. But I'm telling you, everybody's already caught on to you, man. It don't matter what you say or what you do at this point. You're, you're just a sack of shit, okay? A sack of bullshit. And like I said, everybody else already had figured it out. But like even Ski Mask said, I don't know if you heard him earlier, he said he don't even care about the viewers anymore because he knows all he, all it was down to was just his mods. Those were the only people paying him money. That's how it works, okay? You want a wrench, you pay for the wrench, okay? When you stop paying, that's when the shit talking comes in, the harassment, the doxing. Right now, he's super upset because even his like last few little you know ride or dies you know the the wives as he calls them they're not even sending him any money and i told you why okay you they, they you don't think they could scram up a dollar to send him a cash app that's all this guy needs is one dollar to literally change him from that to hey tracy welcome we got a new member appreciate that thank you for joining another member of the jury welcome um, so, you know, the, the, he, they're not even falling, not even falling for it. They're just not going to, you know, risk getting, you know, put in jail maybe or in some trouble because they know, okay. It's obvious, bro. You, they can see exactly how you're spiraling down. You already told your own chat that the police were there. They've seen all the videos exposing you for who you are, what you really do. You acting like you don't do hard substances. There's already two videos that show you doing it in the past and just about a couple of weeks ago, okay? They can see the way you look, the way you're acting. This is desperation. What you're seeing right now is the same thing as a uh, substance abuser does, okay, to their family, to their mom, to their friend. They make up lies, some, you know, hey, I need it. My car's broken down, right? I, I need to get to work, please. My car's broken down. I need five bucks to get some gas, please, you know? What did we hear? Cars broken down. Whoa. Um, you know, is that true? I don't know. At this point, this guy, everything that comes out of his mouth is just straight bullshit. Simple as that. And like I said, most people already knew it, but he is now down to his last few little nutsos, and they're not even going to risk it at this point.
just shows you, okay? And I'm glad. I'm glad that they have at least that little bit of a brain left where they are not going to get, hopefully, their family involved in this piece of shit's mess, okay? Because he's already gotten a lot of people involved, including his own family, for his own shit. And, you know, leading into that, I want some of y'all to really know what type of POS this guy is because I know a lot of you just kind of joined in after the court case. And even prior to that, I had already put out some clips kind of just quickly going over his record and stuff like that. But today, we're going to go over in detail. We're not going to take a long time. I'm not going to bore you because it's pretty much the same shit. What did I tell you, right? Assaulting women, assaulting family members. All right. But I want you to see it in detail. I want you to know where you can see it in detail. And also, most importantly, I want you to understand that what type of scumbag, what type of criminal this guy is. OK, uh, for most of you, you already know. But for the some of you that are kind of like I said, I know there's some convertees out there. I know you're still watching him. You're watching me. You're figuring out what's going on. Please pay attention to this. This is hard evidence, okay? If you think shit coming out of my mouth is shit, well, I, I beg to differ when you see the actual hard evidence. This is all going to be documents that you can pull from the Oklahoma State Court Network, okay? Pretty simple. You just got to know a first and last name. Boom! Search, and here comes all the records popping up, okay? Now, I don't even have time to go over this guy's fucking whole criminal record, like the ones that he's got, like the active warrants he's got in New Jersey, the active warrants he's got in Nevada, specifically out of Las Vegas, the warrants that he supposedly allegedly has in California that still needs to be verified, okay? It would take me probably another hour and a half of just talking about this fucker's criminal record, which I'm not going to do, okay? This, all you need to do is just see this little clip here that I'm going to show you. We're going to talk about it. And that's enough to tell you exactly who Ski Mask Andy is, okay? Uh, A.K.A. Boohoo Deku. So with that being said, and I haven't even gone to some really breaking news, actually. Kind of what we're going to be, you know, people say, hey, you just kind of thumbnail. What's this, uh, you know, going away party? Uh, you're just trying to sucker us. No, 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 my friends. Like I said, the dominoes have fell. Those people that know, they know this is a going away party. But for some of you that may disagree. Uh, I beg to differ, and I'm going to show you something. Uh, we're going to leave that till the end. But let's just go over into this uh, this POS's record here, as they say. Let's jump right in it, right? Uh, okay, it should just be, I think, the same. I'm just trying to remember how I did this. Let's start with this one. I think this was it. Nope, 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 nope. Let's see. I had this. Okay. Yeah. This is kind of by order of date. So let's go here. I'm going to see if you guys can see my cursor. I don't think you can see my cursor, but it's all right. We'll start from the left, your left to my right. Okay. All right. Let's see here. You may have to, if you're on your phone, you may have to put it in full screen mode. You may have to put the quality mode to high definition quality. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to see some of the smaller words. Uh, and it does go through three pages, okay? Uh, I'm going to start here at the beginning. I'll pause this here so we can read it together. But pretty much in 2003, uh, this guy got in some trouble with another fellow here. Uh, that's why you see that other name. But you can clearly see Mr. Uh, Ski Mask Andy's name there. This is public information again. So there is no, this is not considered doxing. There's not even any important information on here, just his first and last name, okay? Which again, like I said, even the paperwork that I've shown before, what important information, I'm always respectful of that. And even with that scumbag doxing me, I'm not the same, I'm not the same type of shithead as him. So I don't do it back. But we all know what David Deco is. That's the name of Ski Mask Andy. That's his real name. It's public figure. This is his public record. So there's no secret to that. But as you can see there, uh, old David uh, pleaded guilty. This is like I told you, out of all his charges, I think there's just one or two that aren't literally assault and battery, okay? This is one of them. So back in 03, he got in trouble with some other dipshit. Uh, it, looks like in, it looks like the offense was in 03, but they were convicted in 04. But it looks like we have a guilty plea for grand larceny. Hmm, that's a felony. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. 
Just want to make sure that's just not the repeat. 411, 411. Okay, that's the same one. So that was one count. Then we go to the other one here. This one was in 04. So this is the other one here that's not an assault. It is an assault, but these were the, yeah, here. So the first two pretty much in this guy's fucking record are the ones where he, you know, hasn't hit mom or dad or any of it others family members yet, okay? So in 04, not, I mean, same year. I mean, this offense was in 04. The last one, the offense was in 03. So technically a year apart about. He got again convicted of, let's see here, guilty plea of assault with a dangerous weapon. Uh, and it looks like it was amended to assault, uh, agri let's see here, uh, assault and battery. I'll have to just read that on there. Yeah, dispose, it tells you right there. So amended to assault ABDGR. Originally, it was assault with a dangerous weapon. All right. Uh, let's see here. Going on to the next one. Uh, let's see here. This looks like this was in 04 again. Uh, this is part of that same conviction. <laughs> All right. So he got also, oh, yeah, here we go. That one I think was the one where he got, yeah, he got four. There we go. That's the four banger right here. Excuse me. <laughs> so we got one convicted assault with a dangerous weapon. It got amended to just like the ABDGR, uh, which is, I think, uh, assault and battery, something, something. Uh, he's got, let's see, convicted, guilty of malicious injury. We have a guilty. Now, remember, these are all felonies, okay? So we already got one felony, second felony with the assault with a dangerous weapon, third felony with the guilty plea of malicious injury, fourth felony with the guilty plea of another malicious injury, and uh, another, this is the fourth count, but fifth felony of threatening violent act of peace. Okay, so that guy got convicted to four felonies out of that one hearing. Exactly. All convictions for being a beta, Kevin. Now, let's move on. Just going to let this play through to the next page. All right, so let's see here. Okay, that is zoomed out. All right, cool. Oh, shit, what did I do? Here, sorry, guys. Let's go back to the... There we go. Let me move it forward a bit. All right, it's paused. All right, so this is the... Uh, this is now in 06. For some of you that are familiar with some of the, you know, listening to his, excuse me, his brother um, and him tell the story, uh, this is when his brother did get in some trouble with him, okay? Um, this was 06. It looks like, uh, and again, that's why there's two names, so don't get him confused, where uh, Mr. Uh, David Lee Deco is who Ski Mask Andy is, okay? So in 06, it looks like we had a guilty plea for a conspiracy. Hmm. Uh, looks like it says attempted robbery two or more. Let's see here. I just want to make sure I don't read. Yeah, there we go. I I I I put it on the next page because I cut it out the other one. So yeah, there we go. So he his count. It looks like there. Yeah. So count number two. Let's see. Because there's yeah. So there's two different charges on here. So this is now the third court hearing. Okay. Sorry if I'm getting a little confusing here. Um, I think we said now we're on the. Fifth, so the other one, the first hearing was one felony. Second hearing, he got four felonies, so we're at a total of five felonies. Now we're at the third hearing. This is in 06. This is now just Oklahoma, mind you, okay? So here it looks like we he got uh, something dismissed. He did plead guilty here, so he got attempted robbery dismissed, but he did plead guilty to this conspiracy uh, which looks like, you know, conspiracy to attempted robbery. Uh, let's see. And then it says that was his brother. Got something dismissed. 
All right. So out of that whole case, even though he had some pretty serious charges, he got a little lucky and he just had to get, plead guilty to the conspiracy charge. Okay. Moving on. So that's what? Uh, six felonies now? Oh, <laughs> seven. We have, and this is just David alone. Uh, let's see here. I think this was the three counter one or two counter. Yeah. Yeah. One was dismissed and he plead guilty. Yeah. So let's see here. So you, you got to see where it says dismissed and then convicted. That's how you know the difference. So we have a conviction here in 07 for it was, it got pretty much reduced to misdemeanor assault battery. This is where all the assault battery starts here. Okay. Um, 07, assault and battery charge. Uh, let's see here. 2022. Okay, so no seven was one assault battery charge. The next case that you see over is the most recent one. That's the one where he got hit with, you know, assaulting his mother and assaulting his brother. And that's where you see he did get, you know, he took a plea deal. So in the plea deal, he did get the assault, which he was very lucky. He got the assault, the aggravated assault battery on his mom dismissed. And in lieu of that, he had to plead guilty to the assault and battery on his brother. Okay. So that was a guilty plea. Um, that's what he's currently was given the probation for, which he didn't show up to. And he was given also another set of fines, which added to the current 4,000 plus dollars he owes, which he already was on one payment plan that he hadn't already made his payment to. This kind of put him on a second payment plan, which he never made a payment to. So Technically, this guy is facing two active warrants that are about to be released for one, not showing up to probation or checking in, and two, for not showing up or making a payment to the cost court cost administration uh, office, which if you guys saw the last live stream I showed, as well as I also have it on a clip, um, you can see where I've shown that paperwork that shows exactly how much he owed for what cases he owed the money for. And ultimately, it shows in big old bold letters that if he doesn't make his payment, that they have the right and they will issue out a bench warrant for his arrest. OK, so this is where the uh, guilty, the assault battery charges start. Now, remember. He also has the same type of assault and battery charge, which he has an active warrant for in Nevada for assault and battery. And if you want to see that, there is a video in my main channel that's listed. It's literally, it runs through all these charges, but it does it a lot quicker, okay? And remember, you can always pause the video if you need to read it. Um, that one will go through every charge I was able to pull up as far as public records on Ski Mask Andy, a.k.a. David Deco. Um, he also has a charge out of Iowa, okay, believe it or not, that's in that I didn't even list there. I didn't have time to pull it up here, but you can even do a public search record in the state of Iowa and find a court record for him, okay? So with that being said, I want to show you exactly something new. Something that I didn't realize as I was going through a lot of these court records for Ski Mask Andy. And honestly, the reason I don't think I remember it, because I don't really think that it had been shown. I don't think it showed active warrant yet next to these uh, past, uh, past um, court proceeding he had um, that he apparently didn't show up to. I believe it was same thing, his probation, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, it's a failure to pay. Oh, no, failure to appear. So he did not appear to what he was sentenced to, which was probation. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you here. That's something you guys have not seen yet. So that's going to be an exclusive breaking NJ Court News uh, special this evening. Let me get that up. Some of y'all may have seen it. I kind of ruined the surprise. If you're paying close. There we go. So just to kind of explain this here, this is out of Wagoneer County. This is still in Oklahoma, okay? This is just a different county. This is Wagoneer. Um, what, why Ski Mask was, what he was doing there, I'm not too sure. Um, it looks like based on some of the records that I read in one of these assault battery cases, they did subpoena three witnesses. Well, they did the same thing in this last case, right? And well, who were the three witnesses? Mom, dad, and the brother. 
So I don't know. Again, I'm not going to make allegations as to what he was doing in Wagoneer County, but I have a feeling it's, you know, and it's not too far from where he's from, Tulsa, you know. Um, so I have a feeling it might have just been another residence that he might have stayed at with his parents or something, you know. Um, there's uh, another video that I have that shows his dad's record. You know, like they say, you know, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Uh, his dad's not the sharpest tool in the shed either. Uh, I wouldn't say he's a criminal like Ski Mask, but the guy's got a pretty extensive record of never paying anybody back. So in that way, he is like Ski Mask. But uh, they bounced pretty much where I'm going with that is his family bounced around a lot of different places because they would play that, you know, get evicted, stay for an extra, you know, month and a half till the sheriff shows up, knocks on the door and kicks him out, then move to another place, stop paying rent, you know, hopefully, you know, be able to stay for free for another month and a half or two, get evicted, then move on to the next place. You got to remember back in those days, they didn't have the Internet. So records were really hard to, you know, pretty much have for people you know there wasn't some database some apartment or housing you know authority can just log into and see you know whether you you bone some other place you know in another county or state so again i'm not making allegations but it kind of makes sense as to why they were probably in another county who knows but either way what did happen is david lee deco there in uh, 9 24 2008 it looks like it filed was a aggravated assault and battery charge and then he had another one in 2009 for domestic abuse, okay? Y'all know what domestic abuse is, right? Domestic assault battery, that's what he was given to this last time when he hit his mom. So domestic means somebody that lives with you, okay? And obviously, he's never lived by himself. He's always lived with his parents since, you know, 18 till 39, 40 years old now. The guy's literally been a leech piece of shit his whole life. And the worst part of it is not only does he leech off of his poor parents, he likes to hit them, apparently, okay? Um, I believe, and I may not have loaded it up, but let me see. I think I have the paperwork that shows you something interesting about this case. Now, I want to tell you something. I have filed for more of the court paperwork on this case because there's something interesting here. And again, I don't want to make allegations, but I'll let you guys read it. Uh, let's see here. That's not it. That's not it. Let's go up here. Uh, let's see if it's this one. That's not it. Oh. That's not it. Okay. Um, trying to see if I can. I know I had it on here. Let me send it over to you. And I'll explain it to you while I'm doing that. Let me send it again through here. I thought I had this already set up. I did. I don't know why it got moved, but whatever. That's my fault, right? No excuses in live streaming. But pretty much what I was going to show you, and I still will. Just be patient with me. Um, is in that same those two same cases from Wagoneer, you know, uh, if you look at the detailed fees that he has to pay, the victim fees, there's one that says it says like minor or child abuse fee. And what's very weird or different about this is when you look at all his other court records, he has a lot of the same victim fees because they're assault and battery charges. But you never see that like child abuse fee on any of them except for these ones. And I'm, I want to know what happened because you have domestic assault battery and then you have a fee that's going towards like a victim that was like part of, you know, like pretty much they're saying it was a minor victim. So, um, again, I'm not making out any allegations, but we're going to find out exactly what happened here shortly. Um, trust me, because that it, it's really strange. And, and if it's what I think I'm, you know, trying to think of, uh, it's obviously something this scumbag's been hiding. But uh, I want you to guys to see something that I didn't point out. This is very important. Maybe you guys already saw this, right? You see something that says right there next to his name? You see the first one next to defendant? You see that little red button that says OSW? Do you guys know what OSW stands for? I'll let some of you in the chat maybe answer it. Let you guys, we'll do a little Q&A. What does OSW stand for, chat? While you're figuring that out, I'm going to take a sip of my beer. Cheers. And I'm going to look up uh, that little paper, the little, the, pretty much the court record that was showing me what I was telling you about. Excuse me. Uh, my files. It was this one.
All right, enough time to think. OSW stands for out. There you go, Lexi. Out there you go, butterflies and camo. Yep. Outstanding warrant, ladies and gentlemen. Outstanding warrant. So now I think without even the warrants being pretty much given to him in Tulsa County, because we already said he had outstanding warrants in New Jersey, outstanding warrants in Nevada. I was waiting for the outstanding warrants to hit in, you know, Oklahoma for the newest court case. But it already looks like he has two outstanding warrants out of Wagoneer County, ladies and gentlemen. And that's pretty important because that means if they know that he has outstanding warrants in Oklahoma already, there's no extradition needed, okay? There's no, all right, it's out of New Jersey. It's not that important. Something happened here that's pretty important, like I said, because of the domestic abuse charge. But obviously, they still want to speak to Mr. David Decoe in Wagoneer County. Let's see here. I know I have it here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Does this one show it? Uh, yep, here we go. Yep, here we go, here we go. Let me send this over really quick. And uh, I'll post it right now. Please hold. <laughs> there we go. Well, I'm just glad to know that I can do this without disturbing the stream. This is good to know. Because I thought I had already had this stuff posted up. So this is awesome. Okay, video file. Oh, no. Let's give it some time. It's still downloading. Oh, that's what it was. I think what it was, I thought I'd put it as, I have to have it as a video. So give me one second here. Maybe I do have it on here. And I just didn't play the video. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. I just didn't play the video all the way to the end. See, I knew I wasn't that dumb. Okay, hold on. Here we go, folks. Sorry about that. So let's add it to the stream here. We just didn't play this till the end. There we go. Jesus, I even forgot. This is So this is a lot of the details for those two cases there. Um, yep, here you go. So hold on. That one shows the domestic abuse assault battery fee at the top. Um, I think it's this next one here. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, look to the left of it. Left towards, it's like kind of the second column. You see at the bottom, it says child abuse multidisciplinary account. It's right under the 10% of AG victim service fee. Child abuse multidisciplinary account. That's the fee I've never seen in any other of his court documents. So kind of weird. You know, he has a domestic abuse assault charge. And then you have this child abuse multi or multidisciplinary account fee just pop up on there. So again, I'm not going to make allegations, but uh, we're going to find out what's going on with that. We definitely are. Trust me. <laughs> Out of all the FO Freedom of Information Act requests I can make, I think this, you know, other than the one that proved that, you know, what he did to his mom and gave us the details of the assault, you know, that he kicked the door into her, uh, I think this is probably going to be even more important than that one um, as far as disclosing what really happened because something really weird happened here. And, uh, I, I, you know, especially when this guy is dealing with people that have families and children, I've already, I think we've already exposed enough that, just some of those mothers that you see that are supporting him, it already disgusts me that they have children or their grandparents and they support this type of shit. But I hope if you're still going to play that, you know, put the blinder on game, 
I hope if this is really, you know, and I, I'm sad, sad to hear if this is what I think may happen, but if this does dispose this guy for what I think he is, I hope that that, that is the last straw. I hope you guys really understand what type of dangerous, sick individual this guy is. And, you know, I've said it before. This guy's docs children, a lot of children, and he has all these pictures saved on his phone. You know how disgusting that is? This guy's got pictures of nude females, nude men. He has pictures of himself doing nasty acts. That's what he said. I don't know if you guys are aware of this freaking little sicko. He performed, he's, this is from, this is coming out of his mouth. Uh, apparently he did a, a, a live stream for three viewers, mind you, on, uh, what is it, OnlyFans, they call it. He says he knows two of the viewers. The other viewer was unknown. So think about that, right? And I'm thinking he just did a regular live stream session. No, this guy did a little uh, jerk of the chicken session without me getting into detail, if you know what I mean, for three viewers. Could you imagine being so – that's why we know he's desperate right now for something, okay? This guy literally performs something like that for three random people that he doesn't even know. <sighs> that's sad, bro. <laughs> and I feel bad for those three people. I hope you covered your eyes, man. <laughs> but imagine the guy's album, how disgusting it must look with those nasty videos and pictures he has right next to these pictures of fucking children. All right, you're a sick fuck, Deco. And and I hope after we expose this, and I, I not even by then, um, I you you you're you're we're gonna be celebrating your your party here soon. I can tell you that. But when we get down to the bottom of this. Oh boy, uh, I I I feel bad if you're already behind the bars because you're you. They find out you're a little uh, peddler. You're already a woman beater in jail. So think about that, right? So <laughs> you're already gonna get it once you're in jail for being a woman beater. But if they figure out you're a little peddler, oh boy, oh boy. Anyways, so that that was pretty much it, you know. As far as covering ski mask, I I wanted to. Divulge. That's not the end of the show. That's just the end of this part of Ski Mask, okay? I wanted the newer viewers that didn't know this guy's history. And hell, maybe some of you past viewers didn't even know. And again, remember, this is just the state of Oklahoma charges. What he has in New Jersey, and again, these charges are up on my other video. You can watch it. I think it's just look up, you know, it's one of the earlier videos I have, so you're going to have to go down the list. But it's literally like, you know, Ski Mask criminal record exposed, something like that. But um, you'll see, I have the charges showing the open warrants in New Jersey and what, they, what what he's facing there and the open warrants in Nevada and what he's being charged for there or facing charges. Both of those states are the same. They're both assault and battery charges. And in both those states, they were assault and battery charges against a female, okay? So like I said, Except for two charges that we know of, this guy, all the other ones he's had, and remember, we, we already counted, what, seven, or I think seven felonies, seven felonies uh, and one misdemeanor, not to include, you know, his Iowa record, not to include the other three states, okay, that he hasn't even gone to court yet for. All of those felonies, but two, are all assault and battery on women. And now one of them in Jersey... That was a female that was pregnant at the time. So think about that. It doesn't matter if she was pregnant or not. Okay, just the fact that she was assaulted is enough. But imagine a pregnant female and to assault them and to threaten death. And it's recorded. So if you think that's an allegation, nope. I'm saying it because there's a video showing exactly what he said. So you can check that out yourself if you don't believe it from my mouth. But yeah, this, this guy, I wanted you all to see what you're really, really looking at. And you know what? Keep in mind that this guy's last hearing was this year, okay? I've heard him say to his audience some shit of, oh, this was the past. Bro, you've literally be either been in jail or been facing charges ever since you were 18 years old till now, okay? And like I said, I don't even want to know or care what your juvenile record was, but I damn for sure know you had one, okay? Because as soon as you turned into a little shit was the minute you started terrorizing your family. You weren't terrorizing other people because you've always been a little wuss, 
Okay. That started once you got behind the screen and you were dating females. Okay. Uh, I know you've always been a little punk when you were in middle school and high school. Okay. Everybody punked you. All right. And you didn't have that big mouth then, but I'm sure you were still getting in some trouble allegedly, but either way from 18 till now, all this guy has done is get in trouble. And like I said, this isn't no, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't condone any crime. I think crime is horrible. Okay. But for you to brag like you're some hardcore gangster, you're full of shit. All you are is a woman beater, bro. And I told you, that's why you're so terrified of jail. That's why you didn't even go to a simple probation, which I don't know why, because now that's going to put you in jail because you are just terrified. You know what's going to happen to you. And other than just going into protective custody, if you can't get in there, you know you're in for a world of shit, my friend. And, and that's all I'm going to speak on that. But again, like I said, I just wanted a lot of you to know exactly who we're dealing with when we're speaking, when you hear me say it's scumbag, okay? This is just because he's scamming people now, which is wrong. And he's been scamming people for years, which has been wrong. This guy's been hitting females. He's been breaking crimes. I mean, even those first two charges, although they weren't assault batteries, they were still pretty serious, right? What, we had conspiracy to rob somebody. He had a weapon, obviously. So put the two together. All right. This guy's literally just been stealing from people probably his whole life, to be honest with you. So enough of that shit. But, um, you know, we'll we'll move on. OK, now where I wanted actually we're going to take a little not break, obviously, but let's take a little intermission to say cheers and thank you to everybody that's still watching. I appreciate y'all taking the time out of your Saturday. It is Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening for some of y'all. Um, you know, there's a lot of other live streamers going on, a lot of other things you can be doing, some probably good shows on the Netflix, but you're here, and I appreciate that. And most importantly, I want you to know why we do this. This this is this this is done to expose these individuals because at this point they're hurting a lot of people. And it's gone from just internet stuff to in real stuff, okay? In real life. This individual's now docs individuals where it could cost people's jobs. Those people may have families now. So what happens? They lose their job. They can't support their family all because some shithead sitting on a fucking couch, mom's couch, laying there desperately begging for weed money. You know, you know how shitty that is. And that's where we're going with all this. OK, not only is it his fault, it's it is partially the fault of these platforms that allow these individuals to go on and do these things. OK, and it also is going to be a little bit of the fault of the Leos. And I'm not saying it's theirs. I know these people are very shorthanded right now, okay? After this whole COVID disaster, a lot of agencies became shorthanded. Things changed, okay? I understand resources are stretched, and they don't consider somebody like him a murderer. But the thing is, is it's no longer somebody that's, hey, maybe they're sending me messages and saying some bad things. This is a person now that's contacting places of work. He's contacting family members of these individuals and making threats. And he's making threats of people's lives. That's where it's serious, okay? Everything else is serious, but that, if you don't think the other stuff's crossing the line, okay, maybe you, you, you got, you know, you're a tough person, whatever. When people start making threats of life to yourself and your family members, that's when it's crossed the line. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing and why this channel exists, okay? Now, that's in reference to Ski Mask Andy, all right? We look at other bad people. We just finished covering Controla. Do I think she's a great person? Absolutely not. Do I think she's a ski mask Andy? Kind of. In the criminal side, maybe not as much, but don't forget, she does have a past criminal history record and does include a felony. And it was kind of a violent one. So I'm not getting any leeway to her at all. Please don't think that. But, you know, am I always going to be covering or exposing somebody as bad as ski mask all the time? No, not necessarily. But we are going to expose people that cause things that happen to people that cause other things that can cause things in real life. Now, that sounded really weird and fucking very confusing. But think about it, OK? It's really true. You have people that are doing stuff online, that are doing stuff to another person through online. That's now affecting that person's actually family, their job, the way they live, OK? And that's where that makes stuff very serious and very different, OK? And that's where I'm going with this month. This kind of all fit in with what we're going to be focusing on this month, which is going to be really exposing a lot of these bully channels, this whole kind of phenomenon on this bullshit of, you know, these 
so different, not even YouTube, just all these different social platforms that exist that allow these people to have a voice. And even with multiple people reporting these people as, hey, this person's breaking your little terms of service you put out, you're still allowing them to do it. And even then, here's the thing that's happening is, and I noticed, is these people right now are falling through the cracks, okay? It's kind of a gray area right now. Um, it's something new. Although the internet's been around for a long time, uh, you know, a lot of this new stuff you can do on social media has just started. Okay, these little panel shows where you could have four people on there literally bullying each other or bullying one person, okay? That didn't exist till about a couple of years ago. Or if it did, it's not the way it is now. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty crazy. Like I said, yeah, just short of being right there with me, you're right there with me, okay? And that's what makes this very easy to get into people's in real life now because of the ease of communication we have. How easy it is for somebody to look up somebody's name and then from there, go through their Facebook. From there, try to get in their Facebook friends. And then from there, call those Facebook friends and try to get them in trouble at their job. It's disgusting, okay? And like I said, you're not even involving now the life of the person you're trying to bully. You're now involving a lot of other people's lives, which includes families and children, okay? And that's something that Ski Mask and Controller have both affected, okay? Controla, her own family, and somebody else's family, the victim, the people she hit, caused injury to, Ski Mask, I, I don't even think I could count it on my fingers and toes right now how many victims that he's, he's, he's pretty much terrorized, which includes doxing, includes extortion, includes everything you can think of, okay? Just short of actually being a real man or a tough guy, this guy does everything he can because he knows he's just a little wuss hiding behind a screen. And that's where I said these people fall through the cracks because they feel that, hey, nothing's happened to me yet. Nothing's going to happen to me now, okay? And because they feel that they're protected because they're behind their front door in a little basement, in their little room, in their little bathroom, whatever, behind a little screen, okay? And that's what protects them. And that's going to change. I already know that things have changed because of this stuff. And I think especially one of the cases we're going to look into is just the recent thing that happened in Washington, okay? I talked about this in my pre-show, the pre-party for the jury court members. And again, I'm not going to repeat too much stuff, but, you know, we saw that now. I mean, stuff like this has happened prior to this, but, you know, this is obviously me at the headlines now. That's why more people know about this, okay? Um, and if some of you are not aware of this, I'll tell you really quick. Long story short, there was a couple that was murdered in Washington State. They were murdered by an online stalker and harasser that pretty much found one member of the couple through a podcast she had, okay? Uh, probably started as a simple viewer, tried to build a relationship, an online relationship, which the person obviously wasn't interested in, told them no, and then, you know, what turned into just a viewer turned into a stalker. Now, what's really sad about this whole incident is this person that was being stopped did report this. They did do the right thing. They did contact law enforcement. As a matter of fact, they already had a temporary restraining order on this individual. They were finalizing a final restraining order on this individual, and it didn't happen. This individual drove cross country, knew where these people lived, okay, because they got doxxed or just as easy, you know, he found out their name and looked it up on Google. And there this person made contact with, broke into their house, and murdered these individuals, okay? I don't know all the exact details of it. That is something we are going to go over. We're going to look at together. But that's a case that just happened recently. And I mean, it literally coincides with what we're looking at now. OK, especially when you see that, you know, those Instagram messages that I posted showing those threats that he just made a day ago to, to me and my family. And that's just me. I've already talked to plenty of victims. I'm not even kidding you that they have seen the same type, those same messages that you saw, they've received those same messages, okay? And what do they have to do with this individual? Not a damn thing, all right? Not a damn thing. And I'm just tired of this, okay? The fact that more people came out and, and, and I've seen the amount of victims, and again, I will never disclose any of their information, but I'm telling you, it is disgusting what this person's done. All right, Ski Mask is nothing but a fucking sick piece of shit individual that has no good intentions. The guy cares nothing but himself. All he cares about is where he's going to get his next smoke, where he's going to get his next, you know, dollar bill, and that's it. Imagine that. 
You're going to spend the rest of your fucking one life you have living day by day like that. And you know what? That's fine. Live your shitty life like that. But what's wrong is now you're involving other people's lives and bring them into your shitty life. And that's what's wrong. And the other thing is, don't forget, you're also a three fucking time in three different states wanted felon on top of all your other assault and battery charges you have, okay? You are you haven't even started to repent. You haven't even started to even pay the price for the crimes that you've committed, okay? And honestly, when the system catches up to you, which is going to be very soon, there ain't no more calling mama to bail you out, okay? There ain't going to be any bail given to you once they realize how many chances you've had and how many chances you fucked up. And that's enough of that. So with that being said, let's take a little two-minute intermission. I'm going to just grab a quick beer. You guys grab a beer, go take a pee, and we're going to move on to something else. Um, we're going to discuss a little bit about the other person we've been covering. Obviously, we don't want to forget about them. We just came back from a big case, court case that we actually filmed live and had some good coverage from. So we didn't forget Miss Controlla. Um, you know, she's obviously not doing anything near close to what Ski Mask is doing as far as attacking me personally, but she still owes some victims and some people answers. And quite frankly, I don't think she cares. Um, and we're going to take a look at a clip that I've recorded from something she said recently. And we're going to discuss a little bit about it. So um, hang tight for that. But um, give me about a minute or two. Let's go grab a beer. Go grab a coffee. Go grab a soda, a water. Go take a one or a number two. If you take a number two, take your phone with you. Don't forget to wash your hands and wipe your phone up with some hand sanitizer. But, um, yeah, I'll be back in two minutes. And uh, we're going to continue on this show. Thank you for everybody that's came in. Thank you for everybody that's started since the beginning of the show and has been here. What well, looks like we already been about an hour and a half in. And so far, thank you so much for all the donations, all the new members of the jury and the super chat, super stickers, the cash apps. Um, I may have missed one cash app. So while I have you there, let me just double check. I can tell because I replied to all these. So let me see if there's one I didn't reply to. Let's see here. Yeah, so I, I did miss somebody. So let's see here. Uh, the first one was for Anonymous. We already said thank you for those $10. The second one we already replied to, that was from Puddle Jumper for another $10. Thank you. And then the one that I missed, and I apologize, for Melly Lynn YouTube, $10 for Melly Lynn YouTube. So thank you so much for that $10 donation. And that was for Melly Lynn YouTube. That's the note on there. And that was through Cash App. I'm sorry I missed that earlier, but thank you so much. I appreciate that donation. So with that being said, we'll take a little two-minute intermission. I'm going to grab another beer, and then we'll continue on with the show, folks. Oh, I still had that while you are up there. Um, let's see. I could, uh, while we're uh, just taking a little quick, uh, little quick intermission here. I can uh oh Randy entertain you with a little music. Oh Randy, keep your head up. Hey ski mask, we know your court date's on Monday and you're a piece of shit because you abandon your kid. IP2 Abandon your Nine, kid. Ten. Here you go, here you go. Ski mask is a little ho. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right. Here you go. Here you go, here you go, Ski Mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. You're so great. Oh, Randy, you're a piece of shit. Well, that's the truth. You're on, my poet. You wanna have a, uh, I'll let you talk, but if you want, we, we should do a little freestyle battle. I'm kind of in the freestyle mood. I can't rap no more. Uh, I'm not that good, but. Uh, well, yeah, you're not in a good mood. We won't you're rap. Hyped. You're hyped, though. You got all the energy. I do. I see how you get, though. You get that little in you, and it's like, you know, you got to... Fuck you, ski, ski, ski. Fuck you, ski, ski, ski. Fuck you, ski, ski, ski. All right, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We're going to put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right, here you go. Here you go, here you go, Ski Mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Two blocks right here, tatted on your chest, and here you are. Here you go, here you go, Ski Mask is a little hoe. We're gonna put him up on the television show. Hey, let me see your face. All right, here you go. Here you go, here you go, Ski 
monkey mask is a little hoe. We gonna put him up on the television show. <laughs> oh, 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 man. You know, here you go, here you go. Ski mask is a little hoe. We gonna put him up on the television show. Let me see your face. Yo, hey, yo, my man, yo, so welcome to the NJ Ford Show. Hoops, guys, I have the news, yo. Are you Take a me? ticket. Crush the now you're gonna get kind of with it. Cause I know summer shine like a cup plus give it. Oh no, but just get your pocket in and welcome to the show. Cause we're about to get it. Yeah, we roll. Yo, that's what's up. About to get a hug. About to show this allegation. That's what's up. Oh, I don't like to lie. I don't like to allegate. I just got the facts and I ain't wide. But I wide. Do you wanna try with me? Do you wanna lie? Cause I'm about to show you how I get it. Clifty, Clifty, that's, that's how I got this shit. Feel I'm about to not embarrass you, but I'm about to get real with it. Got me in the fucking cops, watch me. Down. Only one shit in my life. And my name I don't is Rossi. Around, yo, so welcome to the NJ. So here we back, back, back. I told you it wouldn't be so long. So thank you for waiting in. All right, let's get rolling. Thank you, guys. All right, so let's remove this. There we go. Ooh, okay, not looking too bad so far. All right. Looks like we lost a few folks from that, but hey, hopefully they come back from taking a number two. <laughs> Just kidding. So now I remember I had so many recordings why I couldn't find the recording I was looking for. And really, other than getting a beer, I was also trying to upload that recording so I wouldn't take any time from you, uh, you know, like I did on the other stuff. But I remember the reason I didn't have it was because we're just going to listen to it um, for audio purposes, more for just copyright protective purposes. Because I didn't have a chance to edit it. But uh, we're, we can listen to it in the background. There's nothing wrong with that. So um, we're going to listen to some audio. Um, this is going to be from a recent, I believe this was either yesterday morning or the day before. Uh, this was just a little chatter from one of Controller's morning shows. Um, which, you know, that's been a whole different mess too. You know, um, I think most of y'all, some of y'all, you know, linger in the back or watch her. Um, she's pretty much gone on this little like uh, donation, pretty much mission that she feels, you know, because she's now has film footage of her out there. And we've all been entertained from this that we now owe her some, you know, monetary rights to her, you know. So, like I said, almost just like another ski mask, you know, uh, when she first got out of court, she was pretty pissed about being shown on film, even though she knows I was going to be there. Pretty much almost said, hey, I don't care if he's there or not. And then all of a sudden, she turns from being upset that she was on camera at court to now kind of loving it. You know, she's claiming she's got these guys now messaging her, women messaging her, uh, love relationships popping up from all this. Um, shit, maybe a Netflix deal might come out of this. Who knows? But uh, I'm amazed that, you know, a pissed off controller has just kind of turned into, hey, let's use this as a way to make some money. And fortunately, it doesn't seem like it's worked out for her too much on that end. Um, as a matter of fact, it just kind of upsets me more because it kind of tells me that she hasn't even taken one ounce of this serious as to what's happened and what she's, you know, facing in court. Maybe once, you know, they make the final ruling, that might kind of click in a bit, but I don't know. Based on what I heard here and what you guys are going to listen to, I don't think much changed. And, and that's what really kind of boiled my blood a little bit because I, I'm just like, man, when when is it really these, – these people aren't young kids. I know how it is when you're a youngster. I've been there, okay? These people are almost in their 40s, their mid-30s. They, they're not even at the age where, hey, you're learning a bit, you're getting to be an adult, some responsibilities. No, absolutely not. You're already at midlife, okay? You should already know what you're doing, especially if you've got a child to raise. And in, with both these individuals, they do, okay? One doesn't claim it's his. One obviously claims it's hers, but, you know, we're not going to get into that. But you've seen the videos. You make your opinions. But literally, these are individuals that are almost in their 40s, and they're they're just completely – just acting like crazy. Okay. I mean, they're, and you know what, that's fine when you're just in your house doing you, but when you're out driving around and now you're involving your daughter, other people in the community that you've injured, that's when it gets, like I said, from internet to in real life. Okay. That's why Controla's case was very important to cover. Not only did we have a lot of people requesting it, but for me, 
it, it was just another clear example of what we're seeing here, okay? Not necessarily, I mean, it still shows an example of the harassing and bullying because she's done it, she's receiving it. Um, I mean, it's just all over the place when you watch her, okay? Like I said, well, well, whichever side you want to be on, it's there, okay? But what's really sad about this is people got injured and this all happened stemming from a live stream, okay? Had that live stream not been going on, I don't think this incident would have happened. I'm not a fortune teller, so I can't say that, but it's just my personal opinion. And I think a lot of people are probably on the same page as me. But with that being said, let's roll into that next clip, okay? Like I said, this is just going to be an audio clip. I'm going to put this as loud as I can. Um, I believe it's about, you know, three or four minutes. So kick back, have a beer, have a sip of your water, soda, whatever, Gatorade, coffee, and let's listen to this clip. But most importantly, listen to how she's talking and just put yourself in the position of, you know, which is going to be hard because a lot of you are have never even acted or even close to this type of, you know, shit you're seeing right now. But just put yourself in kind of her position, okay? Think about this. You just got in some trouble, pretty serious trouble, you know, uh, and involve your child, involve innocent people of your community or not necessarily your community because she was in New Jersey, uh, but people next to your state, people in the United States. Fellow Americans, okay, fellow citizens, doesn't matter. They're people that are alive. If they can get hurt, then it's your responsibility not to hurt other people, especially when you're driving, okay? That's why we follow rules and laws like speed limits and don't drive while you're under the influence of drugs and alcohol and things like that, all right? Or don't drive distracted in this case, all right? And that's what I'm saying. This, this involved the internet. This involved live streaming. This is what you guys watch. This is what we're doing right now, except... I'm here at my house. I'm on a chair. I'm not driving doing this right now. I can sit here and read chat. I can interact with people, okay? I can dance. I can jump up and down. I can do sit-ups, push-ups, jumping jacks. It's not going to affect anybody except myself, okay? I'm the one that's going to get tired and sweaty, okay? My dogs might look at me and wonder what the hell's going on and start barking. But other than that, nobody's going to get hurt, okay? You all saw it if you haven't. By all means, there's plenty of videos that will show you exactly what happened. But this accident not only happened from somebody live streaming, but it happened live, live on their live stream. I don't even think there's probably more than 100 out of all the years the Internet's been around and all the thousands and millions of people around the world. I don't even know how many, you know, videos you could actually pull up that is a live streamer actually live streaming themselves getting in a car accident live on camera. I'm sure there's a lot of other things. I'm, I'm even seeing stories of live streamers killing themselves. You know, they're taking a selfie on the side of a mountain and, you know, they fall or some shit like that. But, you know, this was a live streamer that literally live streamed themselves causing an accident. Okay. And, and although you're going to hear them speak a little bit differently about where I think this is serious, they're even at this point, they're still not taking it serious. And like I said, that's where I get upset. So enough of my talking. We'll roll right into the clip. Uh, let me just hit play here. Excuse me. Like I said, it's just going to be an audio. was a baby, baby. So I took her 3T North Face and I put it on and I did a fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> Yo, I even I even put on uh, one of her pajama t-shirts and I did a whole fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to, I was, I was channeling drama Kiki. I, I, I was channeling drama Kiki. I don't know. Some people were upset with what I wore. They were like, oh, you want underdressed. Some people said that my ass looked really good. Some people said that I was huge. Some people said that, you know, the video proved that I wasn't huge. So there's varying opinions all across the board. I, I, don't, I think I was decent. I had, you know, ni I had nice gap jeans on. I had a nice gap sweater on. I had boots on. My hair was done. <laughs> not done, but like, what do y'all expect? I, I I don't know why people thought I should like be in a three piece suit for a fucking court appearance. Yo, I, I walked out my, my court appearance. I seen a motherfucker walk up with Crocs on bro. Crocs on. Y'all don't know. <laughs> Motherfuckers show up to court in anything. I was overdressed if anything. No, not overdressed, but yeah, I did the fat guy in a little coat thing. It was funny as shit. That was that was funny. Like I was a crackhead and everything, but it was funny. Well, at that time I wasn't doing like drugs. 
That was like really long ago. I don't know if I was, no, I was definitely back on benzos. That's drugs. Uh, and then I have people that say that I relapse, that I'm on fentanyl, I'm on Xanax. <laughs> I wish. Not I wish, but like, I don't know what people know, if people know what it's like to like live with anxiety and not have like a release, release for it. Like I could smoke until I'm fucking stupid. I'll still be anxious as fuck. So it's just like, it. I wish that people really understood like how... I, like my anxiety is at least, but, but I'm dealing with it. You know, I haven't done anything stupid. And this is the last thing I'm going to say about the accident. I, and this is, I mean this wholeheartedly. Nobody got hurt. Thank God. Nobody got hurt. And I, that's really what happened. No one got hurt, including my daughter, including me, including the other car. No one was hurt. Um, but it really was genuinely because I was lost. And the biggest thing that I learned in that scenario is obviously I get overwhelmed when I drive. And if I'm relying on a device to tell me where I need to go, I can't drive to that place because I get too distracted and it just, I cannot, nope, nope. I got lost. I got nervous and that's what happened. And the only reason why this charge is against me is because somebody named Samantha Cortez called Sayerville Police Department and said that I was driving intoxicated. That's why there's charges against me. Because the person said that I was driving under the influence with my small child. And they said that my daughter got hurt and that I had an ACS case open because of it. I did not have an ACS case because of that accident. Okay. Did people call? Yes. But like, the, like I said, the case has been closed. So what that you think that, it, that that's like, I just don't understand people's logic in that sense. Like I don't understand what people actually think is going to happen. Like there was people like Rick saying, I'm going to go to jail for what? For fucking what? What the fuck am I going to go to jail for? Because I fucking got lost and I got into a fucking fender bender, a literal fucking fender bender. Really? How does that make sense to anyone? Like the logic isn't there. That's, that's my issue. Like there's no logic behind the, like these people's thought process. It's, it's, if you look into what group psychology is, that's what's going on. And it's sick. It's sick. It's like brainwashing. A Mesopotamia. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's enough that I can listen to that shit. Um, Hold on, let me get back to the, that was a, an audio clip, so let me jump back to the chat here on my phone. But um, I don't know. I, I think some of y'all can see why my blood's a little boil about that. Um, you know, not one bit of accountability from that individual. Um, still denial when there's a freaking video that they live stream themselves that, I, I mean, you can't ask for any more just, slam the book shut and done it's a call it a case type of evidence than your own freaking live stream film that shows you not only distracted but shows the glare you can see exactly what you're looking at just off the glare of your sunglasses okay um to sit there and still deny this is ridiculous and you know what sure hey you don't want to you know obviously say you're guilty on tv or live stream, but don't say anything then, okay? But don't sit there and deny uh, when you know rightfully so what happened, okay? 
And like I said, if you don't want to say that on screen, hey, don't talk about it. But don't sit there. That's BS. And this thing of now you're psychic. I know you claim you read tarot cards, but we've already seen how that works. That's just BS, okay? You what? You 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 know exactly what injuries the other people had because according to the court record that we all read together, it said that two people got injured. Your daughter who had a head injury and the other passenger of the other car who received three injuries, okay? One I know was to the rib, I think was to the knee, and I forgot what the third one was. So I don't know why the court record, excuse me, the police report would say one thing and you're saying another. I guess that's why we go to court, but uh, I'm going to kind of tend to believe the police because obviously they just didn't make that up. They had to hear somebody, including your daughter, who said, where did they get, where did they get that the head injury happened from if it never happened? That's what I'm just curious. Answer that. Okay, control. If you're going to come on after this or tomorrow, answer that. Where, why did the police have to put down in the report that your daughter had a head injury? Did they just make that up? Was that an assumption? Did they, I mean, what, just explain me that. And second of all, I want to hear an explanation as how do you know exactly what happened to the passenger, especially when it says that they received injuries? Because I doubt you called the hospital and asked them, hey, just curious. I just caused an accident to these people. Can you tell me what their current condition is? I know that's against HIPAA law and all that, right? Yeah, so I, I doubt even any of the insurance. You think they're going to, you know, reveal that? Hell no. That's the last thing. One, for legal reasons, they're not going to tell you how the extent of their, you know, injuries of their, you know, clients. But two, they don't want you to know, okay? So that that's just BS. And that's like I'm saying, okay? You're going to obviously play the innocent game. I get it. But do not go on camera or record and and try to preach to, you know, the – whatever, 50, 40, 10 people in your chat that day that you didn't do anything. You were just, you know, confused because you were driving in an area you've never driven, which I find that hard to believe because if I'm not mistaken, it sounded like you were going someplace that you've been to plenty of times before. So I'm just kind of confused as to why it was kind of all of a sudden a different route, which, hey, maybe there's some construction. So I get it. But either way, it doesn't matter what you were doing. You can claim you weren't on a live stream, right? We'll, we'll play that game. The point is, is you were distracted. You were looking at your phone when you shouldn't have been, and you were distracted and so distracted that you caused an accident, allegedly at this point. I'll give you that because the court hearing's not done yet. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure you're going to plead guilty, you're just not going to do it when the camera was there. But we're still going to know, so I don't know what the difference was going to be other than you just kind of bought yourself another month of – you know, smoking and joking before you got to start peeing in a pee cup once a week. So I guess that's why you might have done it. You know, just another little ski mask, you know, move, just save you another week or two of just, you know, smoking time when, like I said, it's not going to matter because come that time, no more smoking. So whether you bought yourself another few weeks, that helps, I guess. So me personally, I would have just rather gotten the shit done and over with and started my sentence. And like you said, you already heard what it was going to be. You're not going to jail. So how hard was it just to take the plea deal right then and there and start your probation? Maybe you're worried you had something else in your pee. I don't know. Allegedly, I don't know. You know, uh, all I'm saying, if it was me knowing that I'm going to plead guilty, I would have just gotten it over with right then and there and started my probation as early as possible. That way I've done as early as possible. But obviously you didn't want to go that route. Hey, maybe it's going to go to the jury, right? Maybe we're going to see this go to a grand jury, which could you imagine a jury of six to 12 people sitting there and watching that video and actually trying to, you know, sort out whether you didn't do it or you did? I don't think that's going to work out too well. So listen to your public defender, take the plea deal like you should have done this last week and not wasted all the taxpayers' money and resources and the judge's time just to, you know, spend another hour of setting up court just to hear you say, I'm going to take the plea deal, whatever, do you, but please do not sit there, take some accountability at least. You caused an accident. Whether you want to say how it happened, it doesn't matter, but Take the accountability that you did cause an accident and people got hurt. And in that tape, you guys heard her, right? She said nobody got hurt. Yeah, it's a fender bender. Nobody got hurt. That's that's what I'm talking about. Let's just say nobody really got hurt, which is not the case. You still don't consider what you did wrong and you're still not going to try to learn from it. Do you realize that you might have just been lucky if nobody got hurt that day? 
you still got in a wreck. Maybe that could have been a semi truck. We've talked about this before. I'm not going to start making up scenarios because it didn't happen. And I'm glad it didn't. Thank God. But just to say, you know, it could have been a lot worse if that's how you want to look at it. It was just a fender bender. Okay. If you're that fucking narcissistic and just so delusional, fine. But let's just say maybe it wasn't a car that you hit and it could have been something else and it could have been a lot worse. You still got an accident. So you're not going to sit there and say that, hey, you know, you, you feel bad that you put your daughter in that situation. I mean, you have no remorse, not even for your own child being in the vehicle with you. And that's what I don't understand. Um, I don't even think it's an act at this point because you sound dead serious. You sound like you just don't give one flying rat's ass about what happened. And the minute you're done with probation, you're going to go back to doing the same thing, which you already still are doing. That's the thing I don't understand. Again, folks, you're not her. And I'm not asking you to be that because it's hard. Okay. A lot of us aren't even close to being like her. Okay. But put yourself in that situation. You just got in trouble because of live streaming yourself, right? While you're driving. Would you continue to do that same thing every fucking day and break the law? On top of live streaming and driving, which you're distracting, that's distracted driving, which is against the law. You should have already known better because you're in court for it right now. But you continue to still smoke while you're driving, which is against the law. And 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 I I mean, I'm just blown away at the fact that you think, you know, and you first you started doing it on the, you know, just muting your screen, you know, and pr pretending you weren't driving. Now you just don't give a damn. We've seen you plenty of times smoking and driving and live streaming. So I, I just don't understand. I mean, even if you want to sit there and say you didn't cause an accident, which you did. Your car's wrecked, right? The other car's wrecked. So how can you say it wasn't an accident? But the fact that you want to continue to do the same thing shows that you do not give one damn, man. And you didn't learn from anything. And I was saying to myself, I said, maybe it's because she hasn't done the probation yet. Maybe when the probation hits, you know, things are going to change, right? I honestly don't even think that's going to happen, sadly. I, I hope it does. I hope you change. I really do. But, boy, based on what we heard... It doesn't sound like it. It just sounds like you're going to go back to doing the same fucking thing. And where has that got you? That's the thing I'm trying to ask you and Ski Mask to do. Mind us, okay? Fuck us, okay? Don't, don't fuck what we think. Just take one minute to look at yourself in a mirror and tell yourself, hey, what's really going on here, okay? I'm almost 40. I have a child, okay? I need to take care of that child. Maybe I'm almost done with my life. But that child is just starting a life, okay? You've got to put them through school. You've got to feed them. They've got clothes, toys, education, college, cars, all right? Those are the things you need to be worrying about. Not whether or not you're going to have Starbies tomorrow, enough donations to get Starbies and, and, and have a fundraiser on your live stream, okay? And still have fun and do that. I'm not saying not to. But that is exactly all you dedicated your life to. It's obvious. You have your own friends and viewers telling you. I mean, I guess they're your friends, even though you go through them like every month or weekly. But they're the ones telling you this and you just ignore them. You, you don't care. And, and do you, you know, like you said yourself, it's your life, your daughter. But when you're breaking laws and you're doing it on camera, that's when you involve everybody else. And as long as we're citizens and we could possibly be driving right next to you, we have every right to be concerned and every right to have business in what you do and what happens at your court hearing, okay? Because we certainly don't want to know, you know, or excuse me, not know. We certainly want to know what's going to happen because we don't want to be next to you when you're all high off of methadone and smoking weed and driving around distracted, okay? I don't want to. I was in that area. I might not have been driving. But who says? Maybe I could have rented a car doing some sightseeing. I certainly don't want somebody like you driving next to me. And you know what's funny is there's a bunch of people that live in your area. And those are the people that are concerned and rightfully they should. Because, hey, there could be one day where they're on the same lane as you on the freeway or right next to you. And you're doing this. Okay. So for you to sit there and say, oh, that's none of your business. I get it. I know some people are going over the line with you. Okay. That's not what happened from this accident. That's been going on for years. That's not what I'm interested in. I don't care about that. I don't not even 
deal with those fucking bully shit shows or whatever they are, okay? What I'm talking about is what happened. What happened at that accident and going forth. That's where this channel has a concern about it. And like I said, rightfully we do. We have every right to, okay? And once that once that hearing's done, hey, we move on. We've already moved on, but like I said, until it's done, we still got to finish and know what happened. You know, what, did you plead guilty? And if you did, did you go to probation? Because look at Ski Mask. Guy didn't show up. So we're not even done with that yet. We got a guy that's literally running around committing crimes still that hasn't even paid for the last, you know, four or five other crimes he's done that needs to pay for. And like I said, you may not be at the same level as him, Controller, but you still did something wrong. You hurt individuals, including your own daughter. You hurt innocent people in this accident. It happened while you live streamed. And it, it, it's it's rightfully something that you brought attention to, and rightfully so. And people have every right to want to know what's going to happen to you and what's the outcome of going to be out of all this. Because, like I said, one day they could be right next to you driving, and they have every right to know, hey, is this person out still driving or not? Did they learn their lesson? Could they still possibly be out there? You know, absolutely. Absolutely. So... With that being said, we're going to move on to the, from the control issue. Like I said, we still have to hit it a bit because that book, that chapter is not even over yet. We still haven't even finished, you know, the, uh, we haven't even gone to the next court hearing yet. So like I said, whether she takes the plea, I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to happen, but if it doesn't, hey, then the book's still continuing on. All right. Until we've heard the sentence and we know exactly what's happened and we know she's shown up to probation and she's doing the right thing, then we we're done. We're done with that chapter. We're done with that book. But uh, until then, absolutely, we're still going to cover the two individuals that we've gone over. And uh, sadly and unfortunately, we're not done with yet. I, I really, you know, I hate to do that. I hate to keep going and not, but we're not. We're, we're, we're going to still keep, we got to still, you know, keep exposing these bad people. We got to still be talking about what's going on and what we're going to be doing to hopefully change this fucking crazy phenomenon of all this bullshit going on with this bully verse and everything associated to it. But um, yeah, you know, we, we, we have to, and if we just stop and keep concentrating on one person, you know, it's just going to keep allowing others to continue. So like I said, I, I, I'm, I can multitask, trust me on that. So we got two individuals that we're still covering. We're not done yet. We're going to move on to the next one. Okay. And you know, with that being said, uh, you know, I, I, I discussed it a little bit with the with the members of the jury uh, in the pre-show, but obviously I want you guys to know what we're going to be doing this month. It is the 1st of April, you know. Uh, we've started the month already. Uh, we've got some projects lined up. Uh, believe me on that. I've got a lot of paperwork coming in that we're going to be going over. Uh, we requested some body cam footage that hopefully is going to come in very soon that we're going to be going over. Um I've had a lot of requests from you all to cover some other individuals that we're going to be going over. Um, you know, obviously with my in real life stuff and obviously the cost of things, you know, I wish I could go every week just back and forth covering all these different people. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it on a case by case basis, starting with the worst and working our way down. OK. And uh, I we've got. We've got a few cases we can we can certainly do some live coverage this month on. Um, and most importantly, where I want to go with, you know, the channel this month is covering, like I said, this phenomenon that we're seeing and I'm experiencing now, okay, is, is this stalking and harassment that these sick individuals are doing and that they're using platforms like YouTube, Instagram, all sorts of different social media platforms to do this. Um there's enough victims now that have came out to me personally that I know it's it's everywhere. OK, um, these people it happened to these people before it happened to me. OK, so this has been going on for a long time and it's disgusting. Like I said, it's 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 just it hurts me to hear how many people get affected by these people. And especially when you like I said, look at the individuals that are doing this. OK, they're just rotten, crummy people have nothing else going on. They're scammers. OK, they they don't like themselves. So they they just literally all they can think of every day is just talking shit bad about people. And I, I couldn't even imagine having that shit in my brain. There's no wonder that guy doesn't sleep. 
okay, with ski mask. It has to do with some other things like the substances he's on. But when your mind is full with all that hate, oh, absolutely not. No way you're going to sleep like a normal person at night, okay? There's just no way, all right? Your, your, your brain's like a little human, okay? It's uh, <laughs> very smart, and uh, it absorbs a lot of information. And when you're stuck on that hate train, boy, you know, you're, you're like I said, you're, you're not a nice person, and you're not going to live like one. And it's, it's probably good that he's locked up in his house all day. I'm glad he's not out in the public. But on the other hand, I'm also worried and concerned about his other family members, like his parents. We haven't seen him. We haven't heard him. Um, I obviously, I honestly, out of my opinion, think they're being domestically terrorized. Um, we're going to get some more information from that because not only have I been, you know, of concern, there's been a lot of other viewers that have a concern, you know, pretty much of, hey, you know, is Ski Mask parents alive? Are, you know, they being locked up in a room? I mean, please, you know, um, I know Ski Mask brother watches sometimes the channel. If you can reach out to me, if your parents, you've talked to them recently and you know they're alive and doing well, please, please reach out to me just so I can contact those people or let them know through here, you know, this channel that everything's fine. But I'm not kidding you. There is a huge concern that is really evolving from all this that Ski Mask, where are your parents, bro? I mean, we can't understand that real parents would allow you as a 40 year old to literally do what you're doing in that house right now. It just, it makes no sense. Okay. Makes no sense at all. And whether they're being locked up in their room, they're being domestically just terrorized because you're making threats to them. If they, you know, say want you out of there, or they said, Hey, we're going to call the police because we just can't take this anymore. You know, I mean, you understand they share a little house. You don't think they hear him. 10 feet down the fucking hallway yelling and screaming and doing all this shit that he's doing all night long, all day long. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, you know, please, uh, Mr. Deco, Ms. Deco, Kim, Mr. Deco, um, Randy's brother, if you're watching this, if you can just please reach out to us, we'd like to know that you're doing okay. And I'm, I'm being dead serious because there is a huge concern that something's going on. And hence the reason why, you know, ski mask, never leaves that house. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. So, uh, there, you never hear anything either. You, you I mean, you don't hear shit. Okay. That guy's going on all day long. All right. You don't hear anything. Very strange, very strange. Uh, not even a door shut. I mean, nothing. Okay. You think he's in some soundproof studio or some shit? No. So, and like I said, I'm not making this rhetoric up. This is literally legitimate concerns that have came from a lot of people saying, hey, you know, I mean, it's almost time for a welfare check. It's that serious, you know. And I said, I said, you know what? There's a brother that contacts us sometimes. I've seen him in the comments. Obviously, I would feel because he's not like Ski Mask and he's, you know, kind of the good brother. Um, I would figure if something was a concern, you know, he would make, you know, he would tell us, reach out to me or I mean, minimum, he would already reached out to the police. But you know, who knows? Who knows what's going on? But it has been a big concern. So uh, if you all are watching, you can reach out to me, please. Uh, you know, that's the last I'm going to say of it. But uh, please just like to know that some, you know, there's nobody getting hurt right now or anybody under any type of duress, if you know what I mean. But yeah. And, and like I said, we're going to cover this case. Uh, I haven't really, maybe I'm just not watching the right news, but I haven't really heard too much other than when it happened, you know, in Washington with these people and this, this obviously maybe it's because the guy that killed those people, he didn't end up committing suicide. So essentially there isn't going to be a real trial. Um, there is some things that, you know, they can still bring people that are not alive through trial for, and we'll go over that a bit, but either way, I want to know how this all happened. We're going to talk about it. Okay. Uh, I want to know how this individual met these people, how long he was stalking, what the stalking involved of, because I can guarantee you, Sadly, it's probably going to see a lot. It's going to be very similar or it could even be even not as worse as what we're seeing from individuals like Ski Mask. OK, um, maybe this guy didn't even say he was going to kill these people. And here we go. You see the, the Instagram messages I posted for you. You got an individual literally saying, I'm going to visit you and your family and I'm going to kill you. OK. And then, like I said, maybe this guy told those people that. Whatever happened, 
They went and got a restraining order, and unfortunately, the system failed them. I'm not blaming law enforcement. I'm not blaming the court systems, but something failed them, okay? And that's what I want to get to the bottom of because if we can expose that and we can fix it, I think it's going to save a lot of people's lives. I'm not I'm, at the very least. And if not that, at the very least, if we can expose this, you know, issue going on and bring more attention to it, I guarantee you, you two might come wind of it. Maybe they'll do something to help the, you know, us be able to, that are victims of it. And if it's on YouTube platform, be able to report this type of stuff. Maybe instead of them having to wait for, you know, a thousand reports to come in, you know, to flag a person about something before they send a little robot to check whatever, you know, they'll take uh, uh, five, you know, reports or flags serious when they're all the same thing. Okay. I don't know. But all I know is this individual's personally been harassing me. He's harassed a lot of other people in the past and currently right now, and he's getting away with it. Okay. And I'm not saying because, you know, back, you know, he's not being arrested. He's not in jail. I'm just saying the fact that he can even go on a social media platform that he's already been reported on, that he's already been striked on, that he's already been banned off of and still continue to spread this rhetoric, dox people, make threats to kill people. I, I find that unbelievable. But honestly, I think now that more people have been exposed to this and this is why we do this. OK, and it's it's his fault, too. You can't blame me, ski mask. You're the one that went around this last week threatening tons of content creators. OK, that you're going to hurt them, kill them. You threaten their children. OK, so what what you what did you think was going to happen? You know, um, so. There's a lot of eyes on you, not only them, but from a lot of Leos, too. If you guys don't know what Leos means, that's short for law enforcement officer, okay? And what he's doing is just outright nuts. And what that means to me is that guy's thinking is not even working. And either, either is he just doesn't give a fuck anymore because he knows he's going to go to jail. And he's, you know, he's done this. This isn't his new first time. You know, that's why you, you wonder. You say, hey, this guy shows no reaction. He's just doing the same thing every day, like... He doesn't even care. It's because he's experienced. He's an experienced scumbag, okay? He knows it doesn't matter what he does. He's It's either going to happen or it's not, okay? That's it. What is he going to act scared for every day? He's either going to get that knock on the door today or it's going to be next week. That's all he knows. But he knows it's coming, okay? And obviously, I don't know if his car thing was a scam or not. I personally think he would have already fled in that piece of shit if it's running, but he knows it's coming and, and very well. So, um, and he's not going to go anywhere. He's at his mom's. We know where you're at. The police know where you're at. And even when you take off because you're such a narcissist and because you have no source of money, you're going to be filming yourself. Okay. Even if you manage a way to, you know, put some duct tape on your fucking radiator cap. I don't know what you got to do to get that thing running. Okay. And you take off. We already know you're going to be filming yourself, okay? And at that point, if those police are really looking for you at that point, oh, they're going to get you. Trust me. <laughs> you're the one doing. That's the thing I want to reiterate to everybody. He's doing this to himself, okay? We're not. We're just watching. We're exposing. And we're documenting. That's it. These aren't, like I said, these aren't hidden cameras in his car, in his room that are catching this. These are this own scumbag's individual live streams that are catching all these things that he's doing. It's his own live stream that he goes on and threatens all these people and thinks just because he deletes it right after that, hey, it's all right. I can continue to do that. It's not. And that's the type of thing that, like I said, some of these people are falling through the cracks right now because it's a gray area. OK, it's something not new to YouTube, but. It's just blown up, okay? Maybe they were used to a few bullies, and now it's like, hey, now there's thousands of these channels just doing this, okay? So it might be something right now they're just a little overwhelmed with, but hey, that's why we're bringing this, you know, problem to light, okay? And that's what I'm so passionate about this channel for. Like I said, this is not for entertainment for me. This isn't some way to make money. I have my own way to pay my bills, and I'm happy with that. Every donation, like I said, that we get through this channel goes right back into this channel. And the reason I do this now, and especially right now, is it's a passion. It's a passion to make these people that are doing wrong 
Right. And it's something that, hey, well, you people say, well, who are you? You you know, it, I'm a citizen of this fucking country, just like every one of you are. OK, maybe you're from another country. Then you're a citizen of this world. And every one of us have the right to know what scumbags and criminals are doing. And every one of us have the right to report and document that. And that's what we do, especially if we're going to be bringing exposure to stuff that needs to be changed. And that's why I'm passionate about what I do. And that's why I have this channel. And that's why I continue to do what I'm doing. So with that being said, I'd like to give everybody cheers because I want to thank you all for the support that you give this channel. Because without you all, there wouldn't be a channel. There wouldn't be a voice to get a lot of this shit out, okay? Y'all realize it's it, and this has been a combined thing with everybody, you know, from the victims, from the other clip channels, from the other creators coming together to expose this piece of shit. This isn't just me. This is now, you know, originally maybe the clips exposed him, but this is now something collaborative from everyone else that's tired of seeing this type of shit happen. Okay. And like I said, this isn't even like poking or prodding anymore. Ha ha he ha. This is now, I'm going to come kill you. I'm going to come visit your family and do this and that. I'm going to get you uh, fired from your job so that you can't afford to pay your rent so that your kids don't have a place to live or food to eat. The fuck out of here, okay? <laughs> if you think people aren't going to give a shit about that or concerned about people that are causing that type of you know damage to other individuals. Because if so... That's just what's going to bring us to, a, you know, the world that I hope we're not going to. Because at one point, we used to care for one of each other, okay? Maybe that's what's weird for other people, right? They go, why do you care about other people? Well, maybe it's just the way I was raised, old school, okay? And that's the way I'm going to continue to raise. If I have a family or if I could be inspiration to friends, kids, or my own nephew and niece, it's going to be bringing the traditional values that I grew up with because, hey, we all grew up different, but it's worked out for me and my family. And uh, I, 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 we don't get in trouble, <laughs> just like a lot of y'all, okay? This thing of like having a felony as it being something normal, it's not, okay? It's not at all. Most people go through their life with maybe getting a handful of speeding tickets. And that's about it. And I'm not shaming people that get in trouble. Shit happens. But you know what? Most people, they get in trouble. They get their punishment. They go through it. And they move on. Obviously, you at 40 years old and going through the same system since you were 18 and doing the same shit and even worse just shows you something's wrong with you because you haven't learned anything. And you are a danger to the public. Um, I want to thank Gold Girl 19 Rodriguez. Thank you for the $5 super sticker. Let me check it out here on my phone. I'm curious to see what it is. Sorry here. Live chat. I'm going, I'm going, going. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you for that super sticker. Thank you for your donation and your support. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, th this guy's no, no little, little problem anymore. This, this person's affecting a lot of people. And, and rightfully, like I said, most of the people that you're going to see this channel covering, it's going to be because they are affecting a lot of people. It's just not because I think it's content or, hey, you know, maybe this, you know, be a show. No, it's because these are people, you know, contacting and saying, hey, look at this happened to me. And this isn't just one person. OK, these are individuals. I, I get some people that contact me. I get lots of individuals contact me about the same person. And I thought I knew all the bad apples out there. Holy moly. Okay, so like I said, if, if I could handle all of them, I would do my best. But for right now, let's just try one at a time, one a month, okay? And look at even then, we're still not done with the last two bad apples we've been covering. But uh, I, I think we're almost. I, I think uh, for the first one, his time's coming. And for the second one, she's got a court case coming up here very soon. So we're going to find out exactly what's going to happen. I just hope she doesn't pull a ski mask and doesn't show up to her probation, which I, I don't can't see control of doing that. But man, oh, man, after listening to what she was spitting out earlier this week, I don't know. Who knows, man? Who knows? But uh, with that being said, I want to kind of change the subject a little. Uh, kind of something fun. Um, I was actually watching the news 
for kind of the first time, you know, I, I, I was curious, you know, what was going on with the protest in New York. As a matter of fact, thank you to one of my viewers that actually reminded me, hey, this is going on. So, um, you know, I got to kind of, you know, reminded me of watching, hey, let's see what, what, what happened. So I just tuned in to some local New York City news and uh, it was pretty interesting. I actually saw a character that we actually covered while we were up there. And let me see here. I want to kind of show you this, kind of give us a little bit break from all this negativity. Uh, I thought this was pretty interesting here. Let's see. I already got one of the clips. Let me just see which this one is really. All right, cool. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> All right. So let me move this one. Let's remove that. Okay. So I need to add just one more here. So be patient. Sip break. Take a sip of your favorite beverage. Give me a, a couple of seconds. I'm going to load up this next clip here. But uh, yeah, this is actually some kind of, I thought this was kind of cool, you know, like, Especially in New York City, you know, when you say, man, you know, uh, big, big city, small world, or I think that's how it goes. But uh, give me just one second here. Let me shoot this over to my laptop. Da, 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 da. This one's under that. So we got that one. Uh, this was it. And I'm pretty sure I already sent this over. Okay, maybe I didn't. Even so. months to come. We'll do this. This. Send. Okay. Yeah, I did already send it over. Okay, give me one second here then. Oh, here we go. I see it. Almost there. All right, here we go. Present video file. Months to come. All right, here we go. The spectacle everyone expected at Trump Tower was slow to materialize tonight. Many camera crews and a handful of the former president's supporters. Okay, one more time. So for some of you that may not know, uh, I had a day or day and a half to spend in New York City after the Controller case in New Jersey. And um, I had a few viewers tell me that there was a possibility that uh, Donald Trump was going to be indicted. That uh, Let's see here. So the case was Monday. Uh, it was Tuesday. I think it was. No, 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 no. Yeah, Tuesday, because at, right after the protest, we went to the Statue of Liberty. Uh, that's uh, Some of y'all may have caught that. It was about a 30-minute stream. It's a good one, but unfortunately, all that concrete, cement, the statue, uh, you know, the stream got cut off. But uh, for those of you that joined me for that one, thank you. But uh, prior to that, that morning half, um, I did try to attend what could have been possibly a, a protest uh, because they were not sure if Donald Trump was going to be actually indicted that day. Um, so that was Tuesday. So and the news was that there was going to be either protest at two locations, um, the court down in lower Manhattan and then the uh, Donald Trump Tower. So where I was staying at was like literally 15 minute walk from the Trump Tower. I was in upper Manhattan and right next to Central Park. Really cool spot, especially for doing IRL. And there's a lot of you guys are interested that I, I have, you know, Quite a bit of videos that I did some IRL while I was up there. You guys can check out. But nonetheless, um, it was about a 15-minute walk to the uh, Trump Tower and uh, got there and, you know, kind of walked around. There wasn't, you know, obviously the streets are busy. It's New York City. And it was around lunchtime, getting close to it. Um, but, uh, you know, there wasn't much going on as far as protest yet. Now, there was some people setting up, you know, I'd say maybe about five to seven different little camera crews setting up. You know, a couple are just probably private journalists. Um, some were part of, you know, some of the larger broadcast channels. But uh, while I was just kind of hanging around at one corner, I noticed somebody yelling. 
So uh, I said, oh, okay, great. Now we got a little content, you know, somebody to go, a protester finally. So uh, I walked myself across the street and I got a little nice spot. I climbed up a barrier, a little, uh, one of those uh, kind of sidewalk barriers. So you know, obviously I'm a short guy, so I could get a good view of what was going on with the selfie stick. So I'm going to play this, that, that, what you just saw again, um, just watch it. It's a quick clip. That was a little clip from a, probably about a two minute uh, little broadcast talking about the protest. This just came out yesterday. So if some of you are kind of, you know, not familiar with what's going on, I was there about a week, I think a week or two weeks ago. They finally indicted him today or yesterday or today. So uh, now the protests are starting supposedly. Um, again, I think this guy, you hear him say they were there a little early, so there was not too much going on. But just listen again and pay attention to one of the individuals there. Even months then we can to play come. another clip. The spectacle everyone expected at Trump Tower was slow to materialize tonight. Many camera crews and a handful of the former president's supporters. All right. Now, let me play this other clip. Now, I'm going to show you uh, my news coverage of when I was there about a week or two ago. See if you notice somebody, okay? Do you have a YouTube name or a channel if anybody wants to listen to you more? Instagram or YouTube channel? No? Okay, just wanted. Only on Facebook. On Facebook, only my child. Just to get more of your story, I just got here, so I was just asking for the viewers. Yeah, she was quite a character. She was the only protester at the time. That was it. So uh, I thought it was funny that when we go back to here, that I guess I don't know what she does for a living. Maybe she's a professional Donald Trump protester. But come. the spectacle everyone expected at Trump Tower was slow to materialize tonight. Many camera crews and a handful of the former president's is. supporters. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely got some coverage, man. Check DMs for missed donations. Okay, sorry. Let me check here. I apologize. Let me go here. I have the notifications off because they'll beep, you know, make some sounds on the DMs. So let me go here. Sorry. Holy moly. Okay, so let's start here. So since we're taking a little break from the, you know, negative stuff. I want to thank some of the people I missed, and I apologize. Like I said, I am going to work a lot better now on, you know, watching the chat. I know I didn't do that great because obviously I missed some of these. So let's start. Lots of super chats. So, Joe G, $20 super chat. You are killing it. Thank you for that. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, baseline gifted a membership. Thank you, Baseline, for doing that. Joe G, thank you for that super chat, $20. You are killing it. Dynamite, thank you for that super chat, $4.99 donation. Great live and channel. I appreciate that. Dynamite. <laughs> and then I see Cat Crazy with the $10 super sticker. Thank you so much for that donation. I like that. The super pair. <laughs> All right, moving down. I'm so sorry about this, folks. Oh, Mimi. All right, shout out. Thank you so much, Mimi. 
$49.99 donation from Mimi. That was a super sticker. Oh, that's like a karate fox. Yeah, I like that. Hold on. Let me go to my full page here. Sorry. All right, sorry about that. Woo, I thought that ended the broadcast. I, I don't know how I exited out of there. So Mimi with the $50 super sticker. Thank you so much for that donation, Mimi. Going down the line here, Brandy, $5 super chat. I love how he includes that he's going to ride the bus. LOL, nothing like running from the scene of a crime on public transit. Yeah, and if you've ever ridden the bus, good luck. Some of those connections don't come. So if your connection doesn't come, it's not like the plane where, you know, if it's the morning, you might be lucky if they could put you on like three other flights going out. Nope, not on the bus. You miss that connection. You're stuck wherever you're at for the next day or at least another 12 hours. All right, going down the line here. Thank you so much for that super chat. Dynamite, another super chat here. Thank you again. Will you please say dynamite? Wow, oh, hold on. Oh, I got you. I got you. Will you please say dynamite energetically for my video that I'm making? Ready? Dynamite! I hope that's what you needed. <laughs> if not, Instagram me. I'll get you a good one. But thank you. Dino. Mike. Boom! There's another one for you. Thanks, Dynamite. I appreciate that. Moving down the line. Jersey, thank you for doing this. I'm so sorry. SoCal! We have SoCal that gifted five memberships. SoCal, thank you so much for that. And for all you that just got those gifted memberships, that was given from either Baseline or SoCal this evening. So thank them and thank you too for doing that. And welcome all the new members to the jury. Uh, lots of good stuff that you get to see there. Uh, we had a members only uh, pre-party earlier today. And all of those like cool emojis you see that, you know, you don't see on your chat. That's because you access those as a member or, you know, being part. We call it a member of the jury, but it's just hitting the join button, becoming a member of the NJ Courts channel. So thank you so much for gifting out those memberships. SoCal with five New Jersey court memberships and Baseline with that membership earlier. Thank you all. And again, I'm so sorry I didn't, you know, say this earlier. And we got Gold Girl. I saw the noob. We got that one. So Gold Girl earlier with the $5 super chat or super sticker with the noob. All right, Jersey. I think we got everybody. Oh, wait, hold on. SoCal also gifted 10 more memberships. So let's see here, SoCal. That's 15 memberships. Thank you, SoCal. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. So, I mean, geez, Louise, we probably got at least 60 to 70 new members. Not new, but members total now. So thank you all. Oh, man, you guys are all going to have fun. Welcome to the jury. So we missed that earlier. But we had a total of five or 15 memberships from SoCal. Five before and then 10 earlier, if I'm not mistaken. So thank you so much for that. And all you that are new or got gifted, thanks SoCal. Thank Baseline. And welcome. Welcome to the jury. All right. So thank you, and I'm sorry about that, that I missed those earlier. Um, I guess, you know, I wasn't paying attention, and now I will. I'll be better at that. But thank you, Mods, for, you know, sending me that IG. I'm glad I caught that. And, um, again, if for some reason I missed you, just holler at me there. And if I can't catch it tonight, give me a DM, and I will personally thank you. So I appreciate that all. Thank you so much for that. I really do. Like I said, Everything you guys donate goes right back to the channel. That's how we make these court, those live court coverage hearings that you see. That's the only way we can do it. 
is with these donations and your guys' support. So much appreciate. Thank you all. I really appreciate that. Yeah, so I, I wanted to just to kind of play that video just so I see what I did earlier. Anytime you get out of the studio and you enter back, anything you post as videos, just for the future, if anybody's using StreamYards, uh, if you post videos and you get out of the studio, it deletes all your videos, so you have to re-put them on again. So uh, obviously I'm glad we saw the last of the clips I was going to show tonight, which, like I said, I just thought it was kind of cool to see the same protester that I showed about a week or two ago was back at she like i said that that's a true true trumper there um she showed up again so but um yeah uh, i know that the protest might be going on now i didn't check before i started the show so i'm not sure what's going on but man uh, if it gets kicked off this week we might have some not live coverage from there i'm not flying over to man or manhattan okay um uh, maybe we can do something um uh, you know as far as you know watching some of the coverage off of here and uh, doing like kind of a recap type of thing. If there's anything important that comes from it, because, you know, we were there, we did cover it. So I would like to continue covering it just so those that were interested in that story can see what happens. Now that I guess the protests are actually starting, since it sounds like the indictment did start. But for some of y'all that didn't catch that, uh, it's a pretty cool live stream. We caught, you know, just a little bit of the small protesters that were there. But uh, we actually just walked right in. It was kind of funny because, honestly, I thought they were going to stop me, not because I was doing anything wrong, but just, you know, because it was during kind of a protest. Um, we walked right into the very welcoming. We walked right into the Donald Trump Tower. It said all members of the public welcome. Nobody was walking in, so we just walked right in. There's uh, one of those uh, valet type of gentlemen that – greeted me very nicely, welcome, and, you know, not even a security check, like when you go into a courtroom, um, walked right in, took some really cool IRL footage. I will say, though, Donald, you are a smart little scammer playing that background music because it did copyright my video, and now you're sharing some of those monetized incentives that that video gets, so... <laughs> Hey, Ella, I'm sorry to hear that you're sick. You have a nice evening, okay? I hope you get to feeling better. <laughs> what up, Big Ups? I think you, yeah, a lot of y'all were actually caught that. I know uh, Super Rooper was there. Uh, thank you for, you did a donation while I was out there, Super Rooper. Thank you, I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, it was really cool. Like I said, I, I you know, it was interesting. I've never been to New York City and the fact that there was going to possibly be a, a protest was kind of going to be, like I said, I told everybody there, I was there for coverage, you know, and when, and thank you for that. You know who you are that sent me that tip that they were like, Hey, it might be kicking off very close to where you're at and Hey, let's go. You know what I mean? So uh, we, we were there. Unfortunately, you know, nothing, you know, and I'm not saying unfortunately, because obviously we don't want protests to happen if they're not needed. It's a lot of resources. People can get hurt. You've seen it, you know, but uh, it, it, it is something that does happen and rightfully should be documented. So if it was going to go on, I was going to be there to provide the live coverage. Uh, we did catch one protester. So uh, at least we had a little bit of content, like y'all like to call it. <laughs> but it was kind of cool. Like I said, when it was kind of slowing down, nothing was happening. I said, hey, let's go take a tour of this you know, place everybody's standing around. You know, uh, see how it looks inside. I've never been in the Trump Tower. Very impressive. Very uh, bougie, as they say. You know, not not anything close to where I come from. I'll tell you that, okay? We don't have buildings like that. <laughs> so very impressive, as, as well as all of New York City. So for you viewers that are from the Big Apple or New York State, New Jersey, that area, oh, um, you know, I, I always see, and you know, that's unfortunate you see a lot of sometimes the negativity. That's with everything, you know. Oh, it's a big city. There's a lot of crime, this, this, and that. Beautiful city. I mean, I, I was amazed. When I came out of the uh, subway, I, I took from the airplane, from the airport, uh, I took the, I guess, uh, train to the subway station. Subway station I took to pretty much, I guess, uh, it was that main, I don't know. Uh, it's a main subway uh, station. But pretty much it takes you right there near Times Square, okay? And, uh, I mean, when you get out of that subway, because you're just so used to being in the plane, just underground, just the train, 
And it's just like, it's, it's like Disneyland. You know, if you've ever been there, it just feels unreal. You just see these buildings and that's all you see, you know. And, and then it's just like the, the, the air, you know, you hear all the noise, you see the vendors and it's like, yep, we're here in New York City, man. It's, it's just like the movies. I'll tell you that if you've never been there, I highly suggest it. So, uh, like I said, we, I was there to provide, you know, obviously the important thing was there for the court coverage, but if that protest had gone on for two days, I would have stayed there to provide that coverage. <laughs> And uh, that's such an exciting city. I, I, I honestly, you could probably find something to do there every day that would be interesting for people to watch. Honestly, um, I, I, I was if on if somebody took me on a tour of, uh, uh, I didn't get a chance to see like the World Trade Center. Somebody did that right now or tomorrow, I would totally watch that IRL because I want to see how it looks. I ultimately want to go back and visit, but boy, would I be interested in seeing somebody do that. So. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. And I hope some of y'all that never been to New York City that got to catch those live streams enjoyed it. You know, like I said, if I have the chance to pre while I'm there in an area where I'm providing the court coverage to do some IRL, absolutely, I'm going to do it. Okay, absolutely. So I appreciate y'all that tuned in while I did the, you know, kind of the non court coverage stuff while I was out there in New Jersey, New York City. So thank y'all for that support out there. But uh, yeah. Y'all from the East Coast, uh, beautiful city, I'll tell you that. And I'm sure a lot of the cities, especially the big ones out there, are, you know, just as nice. But, boy, was New York. I mean, damn, just the airport when I left at LaGuardia was, like, impressive, you know. Uh, I posted a little video about they had this really cool water display. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen anything close to that. I've seen, like, kind of the laser show stuff and the drone shows. But, oh, it's amazing to see that water display. And they combined the water display with the laser light show. Pretty cool. So uh, shout out to the East Coast people. Shout out to the uh, my friend that visited me over there at the courthouse. That was really nice of you. Very as a surprise one and uh, uh, super welcoming, you know, uh, very welcoming to have somebody that, you know, I chat with never, you know, seen him in real life, come down and, and say hi. So that was really cool. All right, so I'm going to be looking at the chat now so I can answer some questions because we're, we're kind of winding down a bit. You know, we've, we've done the discussions. Uh, you know, we most importantly, I, I wanted to go over this evening the, you know, kind of the downright dirtiness of, of who Mr. Ski Mask Andy really is. It's like I said, I know a lot of you have just kind of joined us in the last few weeks. Even in the last month, you may have just joined in right after the court coverage, which that was a pretty serious case. Like I said, it started as two charges. Uh, a lot of you may not realize that had they not dis had they not dismissed that first charge, the uh, domestic assault battery against his mom, he would have easily been looking at serving like I think the minimum. I have again, don't quote me on this, but it was going to be minimum of three to five years. I think it was actually more, and the reason is is because like we went over today. That was not his first, not even his second domestic assault battery. So some states got the three strikes, you're outlaw. I don't know if that's how it works in Oklahoma, but I can tell you this. What they do take serious is domestic assault. And it's right in there. It's in their regulation and punishment book, okay, ordinance book, whatever you want to call it. It reads right there. I believe it's if you just even have one previous, you know, felony charge for domestic assault and battery and you receive like your third one or even second charge, like I said, it's minimum three to five years. I almost think it's more. So this guy, had, had they got him guilty on that charge, and he was scared shitless. That's why he got the lawyer, okay? I He didn't pay for that lawyer. We're never going to figure out the you know who paid for the lawyer, but I can tell you that was not him, okay? Maybe partially, but... Absolutely not. Same thing, whoever bonded him out of the, the jail down there in Tulsa when they extradited him from Jersey down to Tulsa. And we're going to be actually submitting for those calls. I've never submitted or gotten a call from the actual jail, but you can submit for that. It is public information. So, hey, don't worry, Randy. We're going to find out or hear what you asked mom or how bad you were begging or what story you gave her to, uh, you know, pretty much drive over probably Lord knows what time of the night and drop off that money at the bonds person. Okay. To bond you out of literally the crime you did to her. 
which like I said, I, I know there's that motherly love, but come on, Kim, if you're watching, he's 40 years old. You need to cut that tie now, okay, before it gets really dangerous or serious. And like I said, if y'all are watching or, or uh, Ski Mask Brother, I know you comment sometimes. Please just throw me an Instagram and let me know the parent your parents are okay or family's doing all right. Because like I said, there's a lot of concern about that, but uh, I rightfully so. Uh, um, you know, <laughs> we, we've seen how this guy's been reacting and the threats he's been making. I could imagine being right down 10 feet away from that room of his, okay? So, and, uh, you know, I'm going to reiterate too to those mods that are still left of his, remember who you're supporting. If you watch tonight, um, I don't know if you got to see some of those uh, criminal records up close, but uh, if you watched, you did tonight. And uh, again, if you have children or you're a grandmother, grandfather, whatever, shame on you because this guy has been nothing but a terrorist to his family, his own child, baby daughter, to his ex-girlfriend, his own mother, okay? This guy is, is nothing but a domestic terrorist. And if you think he cares one rat's ass about you, only thing he cares about is your donation. And you obviously seen that. So some of y'all, like I said, you smarten up a bit. I still think you're going to run back if the chance came up. But like I said, this is not the time. I'm telling you right now, okay? There's a lot of people watching. That's why you know, okay, they're, they're not going to listen to me. I've been exposing this piece of shit for two months now. And those those cult members of his have still been supporting him, right? They don't care. I mean, like I said, I, I if they're willing to change, I'll support a little bit of that, okay? But they're still the same scumbags that supported him, that saw him, you know, belittle a lot of people, saw him dox a lot of people and still supported him, saw him dox children and still supported him, so... Don't think I'm even giving you an ounce of like, oh, okay, you're you're still a piece of shit. But what I'm saying is, is at least, you know, you're going to get away from that. And hopefully, you know, you can change your way a bit and you'll turn around. But, hey, kudos for being smart. Because remember, you take care of yourselves, right? You're just like ski masks. So when you realize that, oh, shit, I might get in some trouble because the police are watching now. Yeah, you know, well, you're you're at least you got a little bit of brains left in you because if you continue to support that guy, oh, I guarantee you, you, you might be getting a subpoena. And if you don't think they can track you down, they don't even have to do it the hacker way. They're just gonna ask Ski Mask Andy for your fucking name, your phone number, and your address because I already know he has it. And you don't think that little rat's gonna rat you out if he can even get some type of plea deal or something? <laughs> So, hey, kudos to some of y'all that are being smart, but it don't matter. Even if you don't give him money, just the fact that you still support him as a mod, that you're still supporting him in the chat, that you're still riling him up, you know, when he's doxing or, you know, bullying these people. And I see y'all, I see the little hearts and all the other bullshit you put that you're just because you don't give him the dinero, you're still the same type. You're just as bad as him, just as bad. And I'm, I'm looking at the, and sorry, I'm looking at the chat. I remember to look at chat. Oh, wait, Jesus, that's not even the right chat. That was the picture of that jersey sent me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hold on. Let's go back to the live stream. Sorry. Uh, live, live. Okay. Let me just go up and make sure I didn't miss any donations. Okay, cool. All right. Now I'm looking at the chat. Sorry. I was looking at a picture of the chat. I should have noticed it wasn't moving. <laughs> But, uh, oh, hold on. I guess I should press I should play. Have it wasn't oh, oh. Let's take the volume down. <laughs> All right. Now I'm caught up with the chat. I'm reading it. Okay, we're good. Hold on. Let me mute my speaker. There we go. But, yeah, like I said, um, shame. It, it, just because you're changing a bit, kudos, but shame on you for still supporting him this far, especially when you've seen everything exposed about the guy. But, hey. Maybe it just took you getting doxxed yourself. Um, like I said, it's still shitty that you had to wait till that point. But what did I say? It's going to happen eventually. And if you're one of the last three that it hasn't happened to and you don't think it is, <laughs> all I can say is I hope you're not one of the people that sent them a present with your address on there. That's all I got to say. Because if you are, 
Oh boy, oh boy. Let me tell you this. Once the donos are totally dried up, he's going to start extorting the last of you mods. Okay. Even if you're not donating, you're going to start getting messages saying, Hey, I need the money now. I need that money. Or I might send these pictures of yours, or I might post these pictures you sent me. Okay. You don't think any of those, you, you see how sick that guy is. You know, he's even on, like I said, only fans wanking his little fucking crooked chicken to three weirdos. He doesn't even know that's how desperate he is for money. Okay. You, you don't think that guy does sick shit for a dollar? All right. So trust me, uh, <laughs> some of y'all weirdos, you better hope those cops don't confiscate his phone because when they see those little interactions between you, oh, you're going to be in some major trouble. Trust me. So, uh, uh, uh. and you know, it's too late. What are you going to do? Stop sending him pictures? Everything you sent them, all those messages, they're already stuck on his phone. So minute those police come knocking on his door, he's going to roll you first. And then he's going to try to, you know, before it, it happens to him. Although I doubt you're going to get in any trouble. Well, you will. Don't say I doubt. They're going to get him first. But if they care to go after you or he tries to make, like I said, you know, he's a little narc. He's a rat. If he starts snitching on y'all, well, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, is he on right now, Joe G? All right. I figured, well, a little later than sooner. I figured he's going to be on right after I started my uh, my uh, live stream. Uh, I guess maybe he finally had to take a little nap, you know, after being up for five days. And like I said, the dude, actually, he can't sleep right now. He's probably withdrawing. I'm sure his mind's just beating right now. Pop, 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 pop. Because he's trying to figure out. You guys realize, right? He's got to always scam a day in advance, okay? That's how drug users work. If they don't have a day in advance worth of money, then that means they they could have a day they don't they go out without their drugs, okay? So, for example, if he's got 20 bucks for today, he knows he's got to raise 20 bucks again to at least have for tomorrow because maybe he doesn't get any money or donos tomorrow, Okay. He's always planning a day in advance. But see, what's happened? He's gone through at least two to almost three days of no donations. And if he's gotten a handful, like I told you, he sells, he sells air hugs for a dollar, okay? So, and he even stopped. Remember how often he would be like, oh, thank you for the donation. Oh, thank you for the donation. He's not even doing the donation scam anymore because I told you this, right? What happens when his viewers think he's getting a bunch of donations? They may not donate to him anymore because they say, hey, what the fuck, bro? You just you said you got like $100 worth of donations last night. What are you crying about today? All right. And he finally realized that. So now he's not even trying this dono scam. He's just straight begging. He's straight telling you guys, hey, I haven't received anything for the last three days. And guess what? That now puts him at least two days behind. OK, so in about. Probably, I bet you he has enough of what he uses to get him through for like maybe tomorrow morning and then he's done. And if he doesn't have any money today to buy anything tomorrow, oh boy, here comes withdrawal time, right, Ski? So watch, watch me, right? Watch. If you don't believe me, he's not going to get any donos, okay? We already know that. He's going to go on. He's going to throw all his shit out tonight. You're going to hear him just go crazy. OK, not going to get any donations. It would already happen as much as the last three like mods of his would love to donate. They don't have it. OK, they, they they've already tried, you know, stealing from the husband. They tried sneaking into their grandpa's room to get that credit card. It's not happening. OK, trust me. So right now, Ski is freaking out tomorrow. If he dares come on live, you're going to see that guy totally going fucking withdrawal crazy. OK. Not only is he broke, but he's two, three days behind and he has no more weed, no more of the other substance. OK, and you think I mean, we don't even know if his parents are there right now. You think he's going to. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Uh, you think you can lend me like uh, 20 bucks, please? Yeah. <laughs> Lexi, yeah, I wouldn't give him a penny either. Trust me, like I said, that guy's been begging all day today. If his like last three little crazies could give him a dollar, 
they would have already sent them a dollar. Even those poor people don't even have a dollar. You know what? I'm going to tell you this. If you can't even feed yourself or your family because you donated all your money to this scumbag, shame on you. I'll tell you that, okay? And I hope you learn your lesson because I'm telling you, trust me, there are these, these, those last three ladies of his, they're going crazy right now. They're probably counting pennies, trying to figure out how can I send a hundred pennies and get a cash so I can send it through a cash app, okay? Th he's going nuts. And the reason they're going to go so desperate is because I just told you, if they can't come up with this little fee, he's going to start extorting them, okay? And how does he extort? He's going to start doxing them. He already started, okay? And honestly, I don't know. I don't know if some of those people even care to be doxed. They don't have jobs or have anything else going for them. They probably don't. But I know a lot of those people have careers, okay? We've already seen it. And I know a lot of them are going to be pretty upset if their information gets out there. And I'm telling you, at this point, if that's what you're really worried about, you have two options. You better give him the money, which you don't have, and I hope you don't. Or you better, if it happens, if he starts threatening you, hey, I already told you what to do. I already told you who you need to contact. Or just flag it if you don't think it's that serious. But if it's serious, please, by all means, do what you have to. But please... Do not think this guy's going to give you some second chance. He is down to his knees right now. He's going to do everything and anything he can to extort money now from his mods because he can't get it from anywhere else. All right. And that's how it goes. It just, I, I, and I hate to say, oh, I called it. I said this. No, everybody already figured this out weeks ago. They knew this was going to happen. It's already happened. Okay. This was just the second wave. And the first wave was nice enough to be an example, sadly, and remind these people, hey, we learned our lesson. Unfortunately, we got scammed. We moved on. This guy's a piece of shit. They heard it from plenty of people, okay? I show court records. I show the police record where he fucking kicked the door into his mom and didn't give one rat's ass. We showed his court records from the past, okay? I mean, Jen, for God's sake. All right, was strong enough to come up and do that panel show where she came up, where she hadn't even talked for months. Okay. And rightfully, she wanted to do this to help other victims. Okay. And, and what she did helped a lot of people because after that show, a lot of victims came out. Okay. That were afraid of this piece of shit. And because Jen came out as a female and a woman and said, I'm not taking this shit. Fuck you, ski mask. A lot of victims came out. You know what? I don't care. They still want to stay anonymous. They are. But at least they've already started what they need to, to hopefully get some type of whatever it is. You know, at this point, it, it's not money they care about. They're not going to see the money they got scammed out. It's just the principle. It's just about what they had to go through, what their family had to go through. They're just seeking some fucking repentance for that. And rightfully so. And that's why, like I said, this dude owes not only those people jail time, he owes three other states fucking jail time, okay? You ain't going nowhere for a while. That's all I'm going to say. You might be smoking and joking this week and maybe another week. Nah, uh, it, it's it. You're, you're done, dude. That's like what I said for whoever was in there saying, oh, what's the party for? Well, we call it a pre-party, okay? Because I don't know exactly when he's going to be going to jail. But I know it's coming soon. So that's why we had a party tonight for it. And boy, did I have a great time. I thank you guys. I had a blast at this going away party. But yeah, that, that dude is, is just trouble, man. And like I said, I'm not going to beat a, you know, whatever the saying goes. But it's, <laughs> I don't even know what you could possibly say at this point now to even try to apologize. I mean, I, I've seen it before. You know, I, I've seen him where he does that. Oh, he goes on his rant, says the B word, the N word, says he's going to do this and that. Then, oh, it's my bipolar. I'm sorry, not that, that you, you know, maybe the first time, maybe the second time, you know, for regular people, we don't even believe that shit. But for those cult members of yours, you might have fooled them, you know, probably 20 times. But 
what they seen you do to fortune cookie, that was all they needed. And then to know that, hey, the police are watching you now, that was just the other thing they needed to say, fuck this, I'm out of here, okay? <laughs> They're just like you, Ski Mask. You don't give a rat's ass about them in the long run. They don't give a rat's ass about you either, bro. So you guys are just both little rats just... <laughs> but anyways enough for that but you know cheers i appreciate y'all that joined me this evening uh if you have your favorite beverage with you let's say a cheers tonight because like i said hey it hasn't happened yet but it's coming um i'm telling you it's coming uh and this is like i said this was brought on all by you ski mask because i know you're watching right now and you're gonna go on and blame everybody but yourself okay you're the dumb motherfucker that got yourself in this position. You're the piece of shit that's done nothing your whole life, okay? Except this bullshit that you think is a job, okay? Get fucking real, bro. And you know what? You were living in this fantasy because you had a few people hyping you up about it, but you ain't got nothing anymore. You have no more family support. You have no real friends. Only people looking to even see you right now are the fucking police, okay? You're literally just a scaredy cat running right now from the police. That's it. And you're just lucky that your parents have some type of government housing that you can sneak in and, and live kind of like a little leech. Otherwise, you'd be on the streets having to survive on your own. You can't even survive on your own being a leech at your parents, okay? You think you'd cut it on your own by yourself? And don't come out with this bullshit. Oh, I came to Hollywood with nothing. Bullshit. You all know, you know, and I'm not even, you You can look it up yourselves and find all the info out there. But if some of y'all don't even know what Ski Mask did to survive in Hollywood, just put two and two together, okay? <laughs> Just put two and two together. That's all I got to say. But yeah, that 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 dude's a little punk ass. He he that's the type of guy, bro. I would love to see them drop, you know, as a punishment, I would love to see them drop you off like in the middle of a forest with like, hell, we'll even give you some shit because you know, obviously you wouldn't even make it 2 hours if you didn't have like a canteen of water. Uh, I'll say this, I, I could bet you they could drop you off in the forest with a backpack full of like three days worth of food and water, you know, like shelter, like a tent. And you probably still couldn't even make it one night. Okay. <laughs> you wouldn't even know how to open up the canteen and drink your fucking water, bro. So the only reason you even survive right now is because all you got to worry is I wake up. I just got to ingest like some PB&J or a hot dog from the local, you know, 7-Eleven down the street. I got to make sure and put a little fluids in me as an energy drink and then my drug habit. That's all you got to think about, right? Because you're a leech. It's just I wake up. I got to eat. I got to poop. I got to pee. I got to smoke. And I got to beg for money. That's it. That's all you've got to worry about. And see what's funny is. If your parents really just kicked your ass out like they should have been, you'd have you you'd be in a different world right now, bro. You're you're literally like a spoiled homeless leech is what you are. <laughs> literally, a spoiled homeless leech is what you are. Cuz the minute that you have no home like that, you're fucked, okay? You wouldn't even know how to fucking even like I don't even know. I, I don't even think you know even know how to like use an ATM. OK, I, I think all you're used to is just cash apps and however the, you know, whatever. You just buy everything on credit. OK, I don't even think you know how to fucking like pull out money. You wouldn't even know how to like, you know, function in like public uh, use like a map, you know, know how to get on one bus to get to another location. I mean, just like simple survivability skills that like kids learn in middle school and high school. I don't even think you can handle that. That's that's your problem. And you're afraid of it. That's that's exactly why you've just learned to leech onto whoever, whether it's another female, whether it's another male, like in Hollywood, uh, whether it's your parents, like right now, you just leech onto whoever. You just got to a bit and get a free home and free food and you're good, you know? And that's because you get away with the begging. 
once the donos are done, you're fucked. Because I know your parents ain't going to be helping you with that habit. They don't even have money to get, you know, help themselves out. I'm sure. I'm Like I said, I, I know you've already said it yourself that they're on fixed incomes and you think they can afford to, you know, pay for your fucking weed bill or your fucking little PBJ and Sammy and energy drink habit. Hell no. Sorry, I'm just looking through the chat here so I don't miss anything. Hey, thanks, Joe G. I saw that. I appreciate that. Tammy, Michelle was just on Strap on Skin Marks Live telling him she loved him and kept changing the subject. Yeah, well, you know, what's funny is I don't know much about her except for what I've just clipped on Skiwis. You know, I know that there's a lot of other channels and people here that know that whole story about that lady. But I'll tell you what, um, I've heard she has a pretty extensive criminal record and it doesn't shock me. And honestly, just the fact that she gets along with a guy like Ski Mask and at her age, I, I, she must be just like I've said it before. She's just a male version of Ski Mask or he's a female version of her, one or the other. But uh, they're both sick individuals. They both get off on each other. They both get off on bullying and harassing and slandering. Um, they're both act like characters, but they're not. They both suffer from substance abuse issues. So, yeah, uh, you know, like they say, you know, if you, you're going to be friends with somebody that shares some of the same common shit as you, right? So, but unfortunately, they both are scumbags. They'll both roll each other. They'll both sell each other out. They both talk bad about each other. So at the end of the day, all that is is just one person using another person. And like I said, they're both scumbags. All they care about is the dinero. So that's it. And unfortunately, you know what? I wouldn't care if they both want to go fuck each other up and call each other names. But the fact that both of them have doxxed other people and both of them have drugged other innocent people into their bullshit, that's where we have a problem here, okay? And hell, if we need to start covering that, Michelle, you know, like I said, I, I haven't even started to look into her because that's a whole nother rabbit hole. But hey, <laughs> if that's another little bad apple, we got exposed. <laughs> Doritos and chocolate. <laughs> Could you imagine that guy's stomach, man? Holy moly. Do you imagine consuming Doritos, chocolates, and energy drinks for like, you know, two years or more of your life and that's it? I mean, I know they have a little bit of water in those carbonated energy drinks, but dude, you got to have like some like minerals and vitamins in you and you're not getting that out of energy drinks and uh, Doritos, that's for sure. Oh, Lord, I could imagine his teeth, too, man. Ugh. Especially eating all that junk food Ugh. and not brushing his teeth. I mean, you know the guy doesn't fucking, he doesn't bathe. I mean, literally, we've been watching him for four days straight in the same clothes. The guy's literally live stream himself 24-7. When has he took in a shower? I don't even think the guy washes his hands, okay? Um, and that's probably where he got that ear infection of his. That he's lucky he didn't fucking kill him. But what do you think that came from? That was from being sucio, dirty, bro. You're just dirty. You're nasty. Ooh, I can just imagine how it smells in that fucking room, bro. Ugh, like I've said it before, it must smell like blunt weed, like nasty blunt weed, and just straight like nuts. You know, just sweaty McNuts, bro. Blech. He, they don't share. I don't even, that's what I'm saying. It's weird, gold girl. It's really weird, man. Hold on. Uh, let me see here. I think I want to make sure. Missouri country girl, Michelle's son gets out of jail soon. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, like I said, well, that's what's funny, right? Uh, you know, one day she's probably going to be cool with them. And then the next day, I guarantee you, next time Michelle has an episode or gets drunk, guarantee you she's going to start threatening ski mask that her son's going to come get her and or get him. Who knows? I don't care. Uh, but I can definitely that that they're both like I said, they're they say they're bipolar. They're not. They're just sick in the head and they both suffer from substance abuse, especially Michelle. She's intoxicated every night. She don't know what the hell's coming out of her mouth. And I guarantee you, you know, you can see it. Like I said, one day they're hating each other. One day they're best friends. All they're using each other for is content. 
And uh, sure, Ski Mask ain't a dumbass. He knows that Michelle can, you know, go flip out one night. Maybe her son's raging out. She gives her son Ski Mask's address and Baba knows, you know. So, yeah, that, that dude literally, I, I shit, man. Between what's going on, all the heat on him, and now having some, uh, I guess, ex-felon that supposedly doesn't like Ski Mask getting out of jail here soon, or already did. Uh-oh. <laughs> the douche canoe. <laughs> yep, Candy Cane. Cry me a river. Remember that song? Cry me a river. I can't go that high. <clears throat> Hold on. Cry me a river. Cry me a river. <laughs> Yep. Well, I mean, I don't even know. Like I said, it's that, that, like I said, I haven't even dipped into that lady's story and I don't really want to, but what I've just seen through skis chat is just a combination of half of these people hate her and they're just there to bully her. And then I do see a small portion of people that actually care, you know, and kudos to those people. I'm sorry that, you know, you're trying, you have to put up with all that bullshit between ski and her. Cause you're trying to help one or the other, but sadly, I, I don't think they're in the position that they're going to listen to anybody. So kudos. I appreciate what you're doing. I know what type of person you are because you ultimately care about people, but you got to realize if they don't want to accept any type of, you know, help, they're not even, if there's folks, you know, the first thing they say is you always got in anything. You want to fix an issue, whether it's yourself, substance abuse, problem at work. You got to first realize what the problem is, right? How are you going to solve something without knowing what the problem is? And then if you don't have a solution or an idea to that problem, you're still always going to have it. And that's what you have with these individuals, okay? They both suffer from serious problems physically and mentally, and they're not listening to anybody. And sadly, they have no support. Michelle's just like Ski. I mean, she doesn't leech off of her parents' house but she's leeching off, I guess, of her ex-husband's house, okay? Has no responsibilities, has some type of free income coming in where she doesn't have a give, give a fuck about normal, like most people do about, you know, getting a job, saving money, staying out of trouble. No, you know, these people live carefree every day because they have no fucking responsibilities or accountability. That's the first problem. And then the big thing is, is that they have no, you know, accountability. Nothing's ever going to change. Just like they say, the definition of uh, what is that? You know, uh, the definition of crazy or the definition of, you know, the saying is, is you just keep repeating the same thing. You know, nothing changes. How are you going to expect anything to change when you don't acknowledge that you have a problem? And the sad thing is, is because these platforms like YouTube and these other Instagram, and I'm not blaming those people yet. They can do a lot better job, but, you know, they are using these platforms to, to pretty much help promote their evilness. Okay. They, you see, these people are addicted to the internet. They're narcissists. Okay. Um, Michelle doesn't even care. I don't even think about viewer. I'm not viewers. Um, Ski cares about the money because of his substance abuse. Michelle has money. OK, she doesn't work for it. So all she cares about is the clout, the viewers. OK, she's a narcissist. Ski is a narcissist, too. But at this moment, what he cares about, the only priority is money, because if he has no money, he can't continue his substance abuse. If he can't continue his substances. He goes through the sickness. OK, it's the same thing as being like I said, they say, oh, and it's not just the weed. That guy's on other shit. OK, the serious shit and even weed will put you through withdrawals. Just like people, if they can't, you know, coffee drinkers, caffeine people, they don't get coffee or caffeine in them that morning. They get a headache that afternoon, right? A little grouchy, a little mean. Everybody's the same when you don't get whatever substance you're addicted to in you. It's just life. So naturally, especially when you're on really, you know, substances that your brain is very dependent on, you know, and like you don't get it, you're going to go through what your brain is, you know, you know what happens through withdrawals, right? Uh, again, I'm not a psychologist. It's just what I read. It's pretty much your brain punishing your body for not getting those, you know, neurons or whatever it is that makes your brain happy. So when your brain's not happy, it says, oh, I'm going to punish you now. 
And it happens with any substance. So you've got two major substance abusers between Michelle and Ski Mask. And one's got the money to do their substance every day, which is scary. The other one has to beg for money to get their substance every day. But regardless of how they get their substance every day, they're saying that they share the same common trait, which is their abusers, their harassers, their bullies, and they need help. <laughs> I'm just reading chat right now. Sorry. Taking a little bit of break. I know I've been talking a lot, but you know, it is a show. So we're going to have a little bit of talking, but like I said, I'm trying to work on reading chat as well too. So chat, talk, chat, talk, answer questions, talk. My brain does that to me when I don't watch it. <laughs> oh, man, WAP, then I'm going to encourage you not to watch me as much. I don't want you getting addicted to me, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, um, Zingbot. Um, and, and, you know, if that's what you're talking about, too, Onagacha, absolutely. I've already shown two clips that have shown ski masks take, partaking in substance abuse. I had people when I showed the first one saying, oh, that's an older clip. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. And then we showed a newer one, which was just a few weeks ago of him partaking in substance abuse. So he's obviously doing it, okay? Tammy, I agree. You know, uh, it, it's, uh, what do they call that? Kind of the, you know, old school way of, you know, hard knock life, hard knock learning, you know. Sometimes that's what you need is to hit rock bottom first before you're going to, you know, change your ways. And if rock bottom's going to jail and being put in a padded cell and being put through a substance abuse program, then that's what it's going to be. I saw him watching laughing at old videos. He thinks he's real talented. Oh, yeah, that's the narcissism. Oh, man, I can't. Have y'all seen, you know, have you seen those like movies where they always show the old football player at the party, right? There's the party with the young kids and there's that like guy that's in his 30s, mid 30s, late, you know, early 40s. And he's trying to, you know, drink the beers with the youngsters. And, oh, when I was a quarterback, you know, telling the old stories, right? And then you see the youngsters are like, who's this old crazy guy here? It's the same thing, man. This guy is so stuck on this like. You know, he one, he wasn't nothing even in those days, okay? Um, he just leached onto like some little trend that, like I said, they put him in IP2 for a little bit and he was outcasted immediately, okay? He was never part of that IP2 trend, the CX trend, nothing. Ski Mask has always been a leeching scammer and his career has just been, if you call it a career, it's not even that. He's just been scamming. I mean, Lord knows he's been scamming way before, but doing it in front of a camera, four years, okay? He's done nothing to say that he's provided talent or he's this or that or an entertainer. The dude has literally just been a scamming leech even when, before he was filming himself and even during filming himself, okay? He's never been known as anything, okay? He self-made himself as a character. And just like he said himself, his channel was dying, okay? He was literally begging to like 20 people, 30 people at the most. And just like now, think about it. He shows 200, 300 people watching him. In all reality, it just comes down to the same three to five people that he counts on to support his habit, Okay. Think about that. That's what 200 people. So could you imagine when he just had like 20 to 30, 40 people watching him? He probably had like count dependent on like one or two people to pretty much pay for his bills. Okay. That was it. The guy never did anything. Okay. He's just been a fucking scammer. Except now he's just scamming a few more people. That's it. Okay. And even then that stopped. The, look what happened, all right? It dried up. He did it to himself. And like I said, these people know that he's got the heat on him and they don't want it as much as they may pretend to like him and love him and all this and that. At the end of the day, those people, except for two of them, I know a couple of them are little, but the rest of them, I don't care how hardcore they are in there, guarantee they would never let that scumbag into their house 
next to their children, next to their grandchildren, okay? They might be on there like, I ski. I'm going to go hang out with the grandkids now. Love you. Bullshit, okay? I guarantee you if that motherfucker knocked on their door and was like, hey, uh, can I hang out and spend the night tonight? They're, they're going to give them some excuse. You know, they're not going to be like, get out of here. They're going to give them, you know, some lame excuse, but never. Okay. So, and at the end of the day, I hope he knows that. I hope he knows that these people are fake, just as fake as he is to them. So, and that's what happened. They got smart. He went after his mods. The rest of his supporters saw what happens when we run out of cash or we can't give him his five bucks right now or his one dollar right now. And they don't want any of it. And I don't blame them. Like I said, you're still pieces of shit because you still stuck with them this far. And you still laughed and gaffed at all the other people he made fun of. It was just until it was your turn now that, oh, no, I don't like ski mask. He's a bad guy. So, you know, at least you're leaving it and you're I hope you're finding the light. I know some of you are going to run back because, like I said, this is now a cult, 100%, okay? And what you've seen it in a lot of those documentaries about those cult people, no matter, some of them go through some pretty fucking serious shit, and just because they're so brainwashed, they run back to that cult. Ultimately, it takes literally intervention from other people, whether it's friends, uh They've got these groups because a lot of them don't have other fam family members or friends. That's why they're stuck in this cult. There's absolutely nobody to help them, okay? So now there's actually groups. There's people that have been in these cults that have, you know, obviously moved on. They have their own life that they have now or their own support groups, bless them, that go to help these people because they know there's nobody else that's going to rip them out or show them, hey, what you're doing is wrong. You know, let me show you the reality. You're living in a delusional fucking world, okay? And if that's what's happening, if some of y'all are making that decision and choice, hey, I'm all for that. But like I said, you're still not going to come up to me and, you know, hey, NJ Courts, you know, buddy, buddy, you know, uh, you, you're going to have to earn your, your love here a little bit, okay? And it's not going to cost you money. It's just going to cost you not running back to that scumbag. That's it. If you can manage not to run back to that scumbag, I think you'll be okay. And with that being said, Tebby with the $5 super chat. Thanks for exposing his bullshit. No problem. I know you can't write it on there, but I'll say it for you. And that's, remember what I said. That was just a smidget of the bullshit. That was just his Oklahoma record, okay? He still has a record in New Jersey which you can see what that's all about in my other video. He's got a record in Nevada, which you can see what that's about in that same other video. And the one record we haven't pulled yet, but hey, since we've already pulled the rest, we're going to do is what happened in California that I've even heard himself say that he has an active warrant there. Okay, so for sure I know active warrant New Jersey, active warrant in Vegas, and after tonight, we just realized he has two active warrants out of Wagoneer County, which is in Oklahoma. So technically, he's got three states, maybe four, that this scumbag's running away from. Who does that? Four fucking states? And like I said, they're all for the same thing. Aggravated assault and battery on a fucking female or a family member. All right? So... My, don't even care about the ski mask, the internet ski mask. That dude's a piece of shit. We already know that. But the real ski mask, he ain't a good guy, okay? Like I said, his past and his present and current crimes, they're all the same. They're hitting and beating up on females, okay? That's it. The dude will never check a guy. The guy will never fucking, he's never been in, even in a real fight with the guy. He's either gotten his ass kicked or he sucker punched somebody. That's it, okay? You've seen it. You've seen the videos. This isn't even coming out of my mouth, okay? Like, I'm just hating on him. There's his own live streams where you can see him being a little, you know, but JJ, and I hate to say even that word, okay? But uh, what else can I say? <laughs> he is what he doesn't get. We'll put it at that way. <laughs> Oh, man. No, well, you know, Michelle's conscious. He he thinks he plays a character, but that's really him, to be honest with you. You know, it, it really is. 
Oh, no, he can't leave. He's going to say, listen, <laughs> he already. So within this month, I think he already said he was going to do a, a he was going to do some. He fundraised or did something because he was going to take a vacation or a trip. Road trip. There we go. He calls him a road trip. That was bullshit. Never went anywhere. He actually did that for two weekends. He claimed that he was going to go on a road trip like Thursday, Friday, trying to scam money. Never went anywhere. Then he went to the, oh, my car's not, oh, the headlight. Remember? Oh, I don't have headlights to drive at night. I need money to fix those. Never fix that, okay? Now, apparently, his car doesn't run. It might be the battery. It might be the alternator. It might be the starter. Scamming for that. Still not going to run, okay? This dude claims he's going to, oh, he tried today saying he was going to raise 1200 bucks to buy a one-way bus ticket to come visit me. You don't even know where I live, you fucking idiot. That's a scam, okay? The dude is just full of shit. He knows he can't leave anywhere. One, because he will get in trouble, okay? And second of all, he can't go anywhere unless he has access to either his green stuff or the blue stuff. The green stuff's not too bad because there's a lot of states that recreationally sell it. But the blue stuff, guess that what that means? That means if he's not getting it from his little buddy, that he has to go out and ask some weirdos wherever city or state he's from. And he's such a little pussy. You think he's going to go walking down some bad part of whatever city he's in trying to score some of the you know what? Nope. So he ain't leaving nowhere. He's just stuck there like every other drug abuser. Can't go anywhere because he has to be able to access his drugs every day. That's it. And he can't get neither in jail. That's why he don't want to go to jail. That's why whenever he does, what's the first thing we said he does? I'm, I'm crazy. So they put me in, you know, my own little, you know, padded cell. And then second, he plays the, oh, I'm going to hurt myself so that they start popping him with a bunch of pills. Because he knows, hey, if I can't, you know, get that natural way I feel smoking weed, which I'm not going to get in here. The only other thing I can do is just get high on, you know, anxiety pills, I guess. That's what he does. You know, it just switches one, one substance with the other. And you're right, Missouri country girl, even in states that have it for medicinal, if you don't have a medicinal card, you can't purchase it. So remember that just because they're medicinal doesn't mean if you're recreational, you can't buy from there. So, yeah, he's never going to leave that state, you know, as long as he's got his little weed hookup and his other hookup for the other stuff, he ain't going nowhere. He liked to go. Trust me, if that guy could be fleeing right now to Denver, California, he would have already done it. Trust me. But he can't. He knows he can't. And what's funny is because of his little drug problem and because he had to stay at mommy's where the police know where he's at. His little drug problems, what's going to get him locked up? Oh, for sure he is. Oh, Zingbot. I mean, not only is the proof out there in the vehicle, in the videos, sorry, getting tongue twisted, but uh, you just see the way he's acting. Come on now. And yep, he's taking advantage of older women because... Some of them I've heard, they compare him to like a grandson. Some of them say they remind him of their son that's in jail right now. Remember, he's catering to, you know, possibly a million people could be watching him. They don't, but he has access to that many people, whoever's on YouTube. So you don't think out of a million people that have access to YouTube, you're not going to find ladies that have some, you know, they feel like they're like Michelle. You think maybe Michelle was attracted to him because her son's a fuck up too? I don't know. You know, um, but kind of makes sense, right? Julia, that's what he says. Again, I I mean, I'm still trying to kind of figure out what happened that day. I do believe the cops came for sure. But do I believe the hit and run? Uh, I, can, I can see it. I definitely can believe that happening. But uh, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I see Cat Crazy saying, at Fortune Cookie, welcome. Fortune, if you're in here and I didn't see you, welcome. Uh, we did discuss you a bit, um, and I welcome you to the chat. Um, there was some rumor that you had walked or ran back to the to Ski Mask, and I hope that's not the case. Whatever it may be, it's your life. 
you do you. But uh, uh, I can tell you that there's a lot of people that support you and that don't want you going back there. And I think you can find a lot of nice people, some real friends outside of that community, which I think is very toxic and not something you need right now. But again, who am I? Welcome to the club. Yep. Welcome. No, it's it's true. I'm not even going to joke around. I mean, welcome to the refugee program. We we Landon was probably the first to welcome the first refugees. I'll welcome the second wave, you know, and then I'm not kidding. You know, we joke around a little bit, but it's the truth. Okay, Fortune. I'm glad to hear that. And thank you for coming in the chat. Because I, I wanted, I, I'm glad that you you came in here and you we've heard it from you. You know, like I said, I, I hate hearing rumors. I hate hearing from the, you know, this and that. I like to have everything either documented, proof, or we've heard it from you. Okay, so thank you for coming on and clarifying that. And I, I praise you for that. And um, I, 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 again, I don't know what's going on personally with you. I, I didn't listen a lot to a lot of your stories when you were on chatter panel with ski. Um, I am aware of some of the things that happen. And um, um, I, you know, like I said, I, 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 I wish you the best. And I, I hope that, uh, you know, if, if you need any help, if you need to reach out, you're certainly more than welcome to reach out to me. Uh, I have access to a lot of people that have access to a lot of resources that you may find that would be helpful for you. But you know, that's just all I can throw out there. But uh, I, I, if I can just give one, my opinion, just my little one cent, just just forget and move on. That's what I tell everybody else that's came, you know, pretty much from your same situation is just forget and move on. If you still kind of delve into like, oh, you know, I shouldn't have done this. Maybe not. Just forget and move on. Simple as that. Don't even think about that scumbag. Just move on. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't even unsubscribe. I would unsubscribe for anybody that even discuss him, you know, if it helps. But just keep that motherfucker's name out of your head. Do you. Do what you do that makes you happy and move on. That's all I can say. Cry a little bit. Yeah, though, there's some that, like I said, there's, you know, it's a straight up cult. And there are some that have not seen the reality of it yet. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see that there's not a lot of new people that aren't aware of this and kind of just, you know, oh, hey, I see this guy, my recommendation, you know, and then, you know, next thing they're asking if they can be a mod and they're, you know, no, I, I think most people know exactly who the fuck he is. And at this point, pretty much if you're still on Team Ski, you got something serious going on up here. And like I said, I'm not blaming you because you've been brainwashed at this point, okay? And, and, and I'm being dead serious. So uh, I'm not upset. I'm just upset at the fact that, you know, you're not finding any help. And and a lot of those people don't have support. And that's the issue here. Maybe the, all they have is themselves and now ski mask. Okay? And that's why we have these shows. Hopefully this pops up in their recommendations. Hopefully they see three other people talking about something similar that they're experiencing and how, oh, wow, I didn't know this happened to you. Whoa, I don't, you know. So sometimes it just takes exposing this like we're doing now to help, you know, dissolve these. Like I said, it's not even anything about the cult at this point. It's just that guy's a bully. He's a criminal. He's a bully. He's doxing people. He's breaking the law. He's breaking TOS. And you know what? Fuck TOS. Okay, that's YouTube. All right? That's just their, we don't want that because, you know, then we don't make money shit. Okay? What's important to me and what really boils my blood, and like I said, what's really shitty is this guy's affecting a lot of innocent people and their families. And what they have to do with that scumbag, I have no clue. And why he involves himself in those people we know, okay? He's just being a terrorist. He's a fucking online terrorist is what he is. And a master manipulator, just Jen. There you go. That's the best way to say it. That's the professional way. Master fucking manipulator. 
When he said he was streaming only for his OnlyFans, I told him he would starve to death. Yeah, well, he only had three people, and he didn't know the third person. So <laughs> good luck with your OnlyFans. And I'm going to tell you this. If you got to make a living jerking your little... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh man i'm reading chat here sorry guys let's, let's talk about gaslighting must have been one of his favorite tricks fortunately would it be okay if we move out to you then okay cool yeah yeah no you guys you guys do you and chat that's why i love the chat here man you guys rock um the the chat's always very informative very helpful for each other and uh, that's why i encourage the chat um, you know, you see a lot of these creators. Well, you see it with ski masks. All they do is just literally they ban anybody that speaks unless it's their rhetoric, which is what I've said is that's their fault. Same thing with Controlla. They just fill themselves with yes people. They just want the people that are going to tell, them, oh, yeah, that's OK. You dox that child. Oh, that's OK that you, you know, you you were live streaming and you hit another car. It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. So think about it. When you fill yourself with just those yes people and you're living in that delusional world, you're never going to know what's right or wrong. Even though at your fuck at that being in the 35 to 40 years old, you should. Remember, we're not we're not, you know, discussing a little 10 year old. OK, that's still, you know, and even at that age, you should know right for wrong. OK, we're discussing a person that's almost fucking 40 on both these people. OK, um, they should have already known what right from wrong was 20 years ago. All right. That's why I, you know, I feel bad, but I don't in some way because these people have had plenty of chances to change. They've already been through the court system, both of them. They both have felonies. They've both been, you know, sentenced. They obviously didn't learn from anything. One even worse than the other, okay? One way worse than the other. But they share a lot of the same traits. And like I said, I think you're going to find that the other people we start covering, the other court coverages we start doing, you're going to see a lot of similarities between all these people, okay? And it's all going to make sense at the end of the day. It's like I said, all these people share the same traits, and it's because of the same thing almost, all right? And they're doing the same thing to the same victims of theirs. And like I said, as long as YouTube and Instagram and all these other social platforms still allow these people to come on and do what they're doing, it's going to continue. And it needs to stop from there. Ultimately, if it's happening to you, you can stop it. You know what you need to do. But YouTube, Instagram, all the other social platforms, they could do a lot better, in my opinion, in trying to stop this or at least limiting it, you know, down to better than what it is now. OK, that's all I'm saying. And I think by exposing this, the more people that are talking about this, the more channels that are known about this, that's the only way you're going to, you know, fall through those, you know, fix those issues. Like I said, right now we're in a gray line. We're falling through the cracks. That's why these people are getting away with this. OK, and it's because it really hasn't been exposed. And that's what we're doing. And hopefully, hopefully somebody will pay attention and maybe we can make some change. That's all we can ask for. That's all all I can ask for. OK. Is just a little bit of change, you know, and if all of us together collaborator, I can't even say that word as a collaborative can do a little bit of change. It all adds up. You know what I mean? It adds up. Even if you can just do a smidget, if all of us do a smidget, that turns a smidget into a lot of change, you know, and, and that's all we're trying to do. You know, that's all I'm trying to do with this channel is just expose some of these bad apples. And most importantly, because these bad apples have a lot of innocent victims that shouldn't have to be going through this. And most importantly, we don't want future victims anymore to have to go through this if we could stop it. OK, and I appreciate, like I said, a lot of y'all that have came out. I know it's hard. It's difficult. Some of y'all don't really know me. You might watch me, but you don't know me personally, you know, and, and you've had, you know, you, you've been brave enough to to talk about it. And I commend you, because if you had not I would have known some of these things, although I thought I knew everything about this scumbag. I didn't. And had it not been for you all coming out and exposing a lot of things I didn't know about, 
we, we wouldn't be sitting here. I can tell you that. Okay. Uh, I, I, like I said, I, I, I am now, th this is, you know, started as a clip channel to expose, but now it, it's, it's, it's something that's more important because I realize how many innocent people are getting hurt from this. And I, I personally, as long as I'm alive, I will not stand for it. And I hope you will join me against these motherfuckers and, you know, help in any way you can to prevent this, okay? And it could just be as simple as if, you know, somebody that's getting bullied, just pulling them to the side, you know, even online and saying, hey, you know, maybe, you know, shouldn't be on here. Or have you gone outside and take a fresh breath of air? Or whatever it is, okay? But, you know, if we continue to let these people just grow, make these little hate groups and keep, I mean, look how bad it got. It was pretty bad on ski. Like I said, I don't think if, if the law enforcement didn't get involved, I don't think these people would be as scared. Okay. And I think we would be ski seeing like maybe about a month ago, man, this guy was at a peak. All right. I mean, this dude was literally 400 people watching, you know, probably with a hundred active fucking bullies going at it. Okay. It was bad. Okay. It was disgusting. And that's what really just kind of like I opened my eyes, okay, was holy shit. You've got like 100 plus people that are aged between 35 to 75 years old, grown adults with children, grandchildren, hell, maybe even great grandchildren, literally acting like, you know, the same bully that I used to hate when I was in fifth grade because I was a short little dude. And this was the guy all big and bullying me, you know. I mean, you think that shit just happened and it shouldn't even happen in school. Okay. Look how, I mean, honestly, I think these new generations are doing a way better job than their own fucking parents. Okay. Learning not to bully. And maybe I'm wrong. I don't have kids. Okay. But I've seen a lot more campaigns for these younger generations that are anti-bullying that weren't around when I was, you know, getting bullied. Okay. And uh, frankly, I learned a lot from it. And some of those bullies are now my friends. People can change. Okay. People can change. But remember, this is fifth grade. We're dealing with 40 year olds now. That's the big difference. Okay. We're not talking to a child that's growing that may not have their mind developed. We're talking to a fucking 40 year old. Okay. That's the big difference. And that's what's scary. <laughs> yeah, I remember Cat Crazy, vegan, and then the whole thing with the uh, uh, Jen's brother and that whole rhetoric and. I mean, uh, I think somebody had to move out of a house. Somebody lost a job over what? Some piece of shit just sitting on mom's couch, doxing people, making all these calls. I mean, it's disgusting. And like I said, it pisses me off just because that motherfucker's a loser and doesn't have anything. He doesn't have a job. His parents don't have jobs. There's nothing. It's pretty much like, you know, when you hear, you know, it's like, say you want to take him to say he does something where you can sue him, right? What are you going to sue him for? The guy, he ain't got nothing. He's a piece of shit. And what's sad about that is, is they know that. They know they're pieces of shit. And they, and those are the people I'm talking about. They feel that they're untouchable because what are they going to do? Well, you may not have money. I may not be able to sue you and get something back to compensate me. But you know what? The minimum you can do is pay for your fucking crime, which is going to jail. Okay? And that's what, like I said... You victims that are out there, it's up to you, okay, what you want to do with this. And I'm there to help you with anything. Any recommendations I can give to you, resources. Again, I'm not a law enforcement. I'm not a, a lawyer, okay. But I'm telling you, all right, if you don't do anything, it's just going to, nothing's going to stop these people. They're just going to continue because they feel that they're unstoppable because, like I said, okay, yes, they're not murderers, okay, yes, there's more serious crimes going on. But the thing is, is these people, although they might not be killing people yet, okay, they're affecting families, they're affecting individuals, and they're affecting innocent people, and they're breaking the law. It's as simple as that. You're just breaking the motherfucking law. And the reason we have laws in place is so that we can live a normal life without scumbags like you overrunning this country and hurting people and pulling scams and all this shit, okay? that like ski mask does. All right. Um, and some of these other individuals that we're going to be covering here soon, you're going to see, like I said, uh, they might not be as bad. They could be even worse than him, but they're all going to share the same type of traits. 
And that's probably the reason why they're doing what they're doing, especially at this age. Okay. That's what just blows my mind. That's why this is kind of like, I mean, when I thought I've seen it all, I never thought I would see people age the way they are and the age they are, like I said, grown fucking adults doing stuff that I would expect 12 year olds, kids that are just hitting puberty with all that, you know, what do they call it? All that meanness, all that shit going in your body, you know, you kind of get it. It's just kind of normal. And I hate that I use that word, but but to see a 40-year-old, 50-year-old, men, women, going after children, going after adults, going after family members, going after people that have jobs, that's disgusting. And that's what really blows my fucking mind, okay? <laughs> Anyways. Ugh, starting to lose my... my my throat here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just parched a bit, but cheers guys. Like I said, you know, we, we, we talk a lot about a lot of serious shit here, but I also want to balance it with a little fun. And that's why, you know, I do the clips. You see me do the fun IRL streams. Cause if we just cover these people 24 seven, your, your head's going to hurt. You're, you, you can only put up with so much negativity and so much bullshit that you hear from these people. That's why I personally am glad that I've kind of converted into where we're at now, because trust me, I love the clips. Those were my, my hobby. You know, that's what I enjoy doing, but it does, it does start affecting you kind of like Landon said, and Hey, you know what, Landon, this one's for you. Cheers. Some of y'all that may not know last night was Landon's last night. Landon is a legend in the IRL CX IP2 community. And um, he's retired. Uh, and uh, it sounds like it's for the better. And I wish him nothing but best luck. Um, I hope he does still come out and do some live streams once a month, once a week, hopefully, maybe on Friday still. But hey, um, you know, Landon's exposed a lot of these bad people. SJC, you know, he was one of the original nemesis of Ski Mask Andy. And why? Because he started exposing him. So, Salute to you, Landon. Um, we're just continuing your hard work. So I appreciate what you started. Appreciate your the comedy that you brought. Because like I said, I would consider myself more on the serious side. But, uh, you know, we need breaks. Because if we don't have a little bit of laughter in us, and that's why I enjoyed seeing, you know, Landon was my little break from all this bullshit, okay? <laughs> so I'm sad to see him go away. But... You know, I, I don't encourage anybody to watch these bad channels for a while because it's going to affect you. It started affecting me physically and mentally. And Landon hit on that, you know. Uh, obviously, he has bigger, better things going on for him. You know, he's got to concentrate on his real life. But I'm sure, like he had mentioned, you know, it, it starts getting to you after a while when all you're doing is just clipping and watching just this negativity. And, I mean, it does. So, uh, I'm telling you, you know, I don't see how these people do it. I don't see how a ski mask can go on for four days straight, just bullying people, doxing people, breaking the law. I mean, don't you get tired? But hey, when you're on, you know what, and you're just a hard, not even hardened, when you're just a piece of shit woman being a criminal your whole life, I guess you just get used to it like everything else, you know? But uh, I, I just can't figure it out. I, I've never seen even my own friends that were a little bit bad back in the days. When it comes to women, children, they don't they don't discuss that. They're, it's the unheard rule. You know what I mean? You, you get your ass kicked when you start bringing that shit in. And it just blows my mind. Like I said, I, I don't know who taught you that. I don't know where you learned to be a piece of shit. I have a feeling you just did it on your own, which is sad. You, you didn't even come from a bad family. You didn't even have an excuse to be a piece of shit. You just yourself are a piece of shit. And that's what makes it worse. So, uh, and at this age, I don't know if you're going to get any help. And honestly, if you're not, and you're going to continue to do this type of shit, only thing you need right now then is to be incarcerated. So you're not hurting other people and just hurting yourself at that point. <laughs> that's all the only solution I see at this point. You, you've had all your, you know, First chance, second chance, third chance at your age and you haven't learned and don't seem to care. And if anything, you're just even worse than what you were. 
you, my friend, deserve nothing but to be incarcerated. And honestly, I would hope for the rest of your life because I don't see you changing one bit. I know there's others that aren't going to agree with me. Maybe I'm just a little boiled right now because you threatened to kill me and my family. But um, honestly, I, I hope you just rot in jail because I think you've had every chance you could have and you don't give one flying fuck. And if that's the only place that's going to teach you a lesson, even when you get out, maybe you get out at 70 years old. OK, I don't give a fuck if you just live the last 10 years of your life, a better person. Hey, that's at least an improvement. OK, <laughs> better than what you were before. So, you know what? If, if I, I, I take that back, Ski, if you really want to change yourself, you still got a little bit of time, a little bit. I'm talking like that much. OK, just like the size of your little dingling. OK, but if you don't take that opportunity right now, like turn yourself in. Like, you know, like you should have, like you should have showed up to probation, like you should have signed up for anger management classes. OK, you don't start any of that right now. You're not going to have a chance. Like I said, you got you got that much. You don't do anything here within the next few months to change anything. You're 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 you've just signed your ticket to be a living definition, literally the living de Webster definition of a scumbag woman beaten piece of shit. If you were to look up scumbag woman beaten piece of shit, there would be your little ugly ass picture with your chipped ass fucking tooth, with your little fucking smile. <laughs> that would be it, okay? And I'm dead serious. I mean, I'm not even fucking trying to, you know, poke some fun or whatever that word is, you know, to hee hee ha ha. No, bro, you, you are literally the fucking definition of a woman beaten piece of shit scumbag. <laughs> yeah, Jen, I agree. I really, and I think his brother, the brother is the one that said he suggested that. And you know what? I, I think it might have helped, especially if he's never been through any type of anger management. Absolutely. At least it's a start. You know, if he's never done any type of anger management classes, at least it's a start. But look at where we're at now. Okay. The guy didn't even give a shit. Okay. And it's not like he was doing anything else or was busy or forgot. He decided not to turn himself in because he knew as part of his probation, he was going to have to go pee pee every week. And he knows he can't do that without failing. And what happens when you fail a drug test in probation? You get locked up right away. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You fail your piss test, you're locked up. You break your probation, you're locked up, okay? And really, what's fucked up, or I don't know if he notices, but he's in the same position as he is now, okay? Or he would have been. He didn't show up. So what are you going to think they're going to do? They're going to lock you up. <laughs> I guess like, you know, we were talking about, he figures he just, you know, buys himself a little bit of time. That's it. And sadly, I'm even surprised that he's gotten this much time. I really am. But hey, you know, it is what it is. But it, it, it's it's changing. Like I said, those y'all have seen it. You don't need to hear it from me. OK, you can see him. I'm sure he's on right now. I haven't watched him, obviously. But, uh, you know, just from what we've seen these last two days, the guy is literally on his hands and knees begging, throwing as much shit as he can against the wall to stick. He's going to make up anything he can at this point just to see if he can try to swing some con not even content okay it's not content that's not even the word to use okay just to swing some type of shit rhetoric that might you know swing him a few dollars so he can score a a smidget of whatever it is he needs just to function for another few hours i don't know i've never been in that position but i can tell you the guy is not all there he's obviously showing signs of a major substance abuser and the way that he's treating his mods and his own viewers, his own cult members, is obviously a sign that something else is going on, okay? And we we already know it. We don't got to hit on it or, you know, dig it into the ground any further. Uh, it's obvious the guy's got a few things going on, and um, nothing's going to change him at this point unless he's incarcerated. That's it, you know, that's it, in my opinion. I said a little bit differently, I don't think Controla needs jail, that's almost changing, in my opinion, based on the way she's just been reacting. 
But I will tell you this, my opinion towards Ski Mask is he definitely needs to be incarcerated as soon as possible, okay? He's already had every chance he could. He hasn't even cared to even take those chances to change. At this point, he's a fleeing felon. He's always been a fleeing felon. He owes victims money. He owes the state money. Um, he hurt his own mother. He's hurting his own so-called friends. He doesn't give a shit about his own child and his doxed his own child. Pretty much bullied his own child, the child's mother. Um, he, he is what he is, okay? He is a piece of shit. And frankly, like I said, the only place he needs to be right now is incarcerated because he's just going around making threats, hurting people. And like I said, they're innocent people, okay? Uh, Non-deserving of any of this, especially like I said, he's not even going after the people he dislikes, the people in his chat, his own mods. He's going after their own family members, the family and friends of those family members. And you, why? What for? He's not gaining anything. He's just a piece of shit. That's what he gets off on. He's sick. Tammy, welcome. I see new member. Tammy, welcome to the jury. Doosh, doosh, doosh. But anyways, y'all, uh, I think we've covered enough for the evening. You know, uh, we we what I wanted to really cover tonight was ski mask. I wanted to show the new viewers exactly who he is. I wanted to show some of the. I call them the transitioners, you know, the people that might be a little confused, you know, is what's going on, the ex, you know, extra current cult members, you know. I, I wanted you to know exactly who this person is. And remember, that was just his record from Oklahoma. We didn't even touch the rest of he's got going on because we need another few hours. And frankly, you've already spent enough time with me this evening. I don't need to be putting any more negativity in your guys' mind on a Saturday night, okay? So I appreciate y'all for coming out this evening. I appreciate y'all for spending the time you have. Um, we covered control a little bit. Don't forget, she's got a case coming up soon. We'll be doing another live panel show going in more into depth about that. What could happen, what she's facing, yada, 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 okay? And like I said, this month, the main topic that we're going to be focusing on is going to be this kind of bully burst that we're seeing pop up, okay? And uh, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's affecting a lot of innocent victims. That's why it's, it's, a, it's something that's really, you know, not, I wouldn't say like a passion because, you know, you, a passion is something you kind of like. I, not, I don't like this, but this is something that's boiled. I like this word. It's boiled my blood, okay? And it's obviously caught my attention. And I've, I've had enough people reach out to me where, you know, we're, we're not going to not discuss this. This needs to be exposed, okay? And these people need to be exposed and changes need to be made. And if we can start with just something small, hey, we've done something. At least we've accomplished something. A lot better than being part of these fucking groups that just sit there and bully people all day long, right? You know what I mean? So I want to thank everybody that came out this evening. I want to thank all the supporters tonight, all the donators, all the new jury trial members, um, everybody that shot a super sticker, cash apps. Thank you all, okay? Um, I know we talked a lot about a lot of serious stuff, but in all in all, I had fun tonight. I had a blast hanging out with y'all. I had a blast hanging out with all the members at the pre-party. We're going to do a lot of those. We're not necessarily a pre-party, but we will have member-only chats and member-only um, you know, videos, things like that. Okay. Um, for some of you that are kind of new to that, um, pretty much by joining the jury membership or the, you know, the channel membership, um, some of the perks you'll get is access to a lot of the breaking news that eventually I am going to show. Everybody's going to have access to it, but you get to see it first. Okay. Uh, along with, like I said, some of the more private in depth, uh, you know, pre shows like we did earlier. So thank you for all the jury members past, present, and all the new ones this evening. But uh, most importantly, I want to thank everybody that came out tonight, okay? All the viewers, all the chatters, and all you all are supporters in one way or the other. Um, so thank you guys. And with that being said, please raise up any drink you have, your glass, your hand, whatever it may be. Um, I wish everybody a, a nice Saturday evening. Uh, depending on what part of the world you're in, it might be already Sunday morning, okay? Um, but, uh, thank you for hanging out with me this weekend. Look forward to your notifications. That way you can see when the next show is going to come up or if there's any breaking news, 
Oh, and one thing I wanted to mention. Um, so I did go ahead and this was, you know, I, I know I'm going to get a little flack from it, but I did go ahead and I eliminated the other channel, which was going to be a court coverage channel. The reason being is, is obviously we've made the main channel, the court coverage channel. Okay. Fine with that. But what I want to separate is the clips and the court coverage. All right. They are, you know, obviously the same kind of, you know, we're clipping the people we're covering, but some people just like the clips. Some people just like the coverage rather than making you have to subscribe to three channels, which I would never do. If you care to, there's just going to be two channels. If you want to, you know, follow up on what's happening with this channel to subscribe to the main channel. And then the second channel, which is the new channel. I like if anybody would like to help out, go ahead and subscribe tonight. But that is going to be my clip channel now. I'm going to move over pretty much all the clips from this channel onto that channel. So that way, everything on here is just court coverage. Everything on that channel is the clip channels, if that's what you enjoy watching. Okay. That channel is going to be the youtube.com slash at NJ Courts TV Clips. Yes. NJ Courts TV clips. I'll put a link out probably tomorrow or tonight, um, you know, as one of my kind of post comments. But uh, that is going to be the official clip channel of NJ Courts. So if you enjoy watching the clips, please, I appreciate it if you can subscribe to that channel. If you were a subscriber to the other channel, you'll see it's not there. It's gone. I Like I said, I'm not going to have people subscribe to three channels. So I decided to make this main channel the court coverage channel. And the other channel is going to be the clip channel going on further. So much appreciated. If you guys can throw me a subscriber on there, throw those notifications on, because that way you'll get the newer clips that come out and you'll get all the breaking news that comes out. All right. But y'all have a nice evening. Stay safe out there. I know it's getting spring, summertime. And we, you know, especially those of us that live in a winter area, been locked up, shacked up in the house for a while. We're starting to get a little of that, you know, cocoon is. I know the weather's getting better in some parts, but stay safe. Be careful. Have fun. But, you know, like I say, stay safe. Watch your six at all times, all right? Don't forget to neuter and spay your pets. We'll see you guys at the next show. Love you guys. Have a good night. Peace. NJ Courts out. Oh, and cheers. I forgot to cheers. One last cheers. Click, clap. Cheers. I don't want to see your hands behind your back. Bye, guys. Have a good night.